Hello everybody and a very warm welcome to Crafters TV. My name is Ben Mosby, thanks for joining us. Here we are, start of a brand new week. It is uh, 18th of March, can you believe it? March is flying over, National Craft Month is flying over as well. And uh, well, all the fun of the fair coming this week, as we promised you right from the start. Brand new launches coming this week, of which we've got one in this show and the opportunity for you to spend and save. Yes, we have codes galore. This week's code is different to last week's code, which was different to the code the week before and the week before. So far with the codes, we've covered off coloring, we've covered off paper craft, we've covered off sewing. What's the code this week, I hear you cry? Nukem Mixed Media is the code. Yes, NCM Mixed Media. I mean, that is a code, isn't it? That is a code. Make sure you don't miss out the M's because that could get confusing. NCM Mixed Media is the code this week to get yourself 30% off selected mixed media. There is a section on the website for you so you can see where everything is. And um, yeah, you can just shop along. And as I always say, if you're not quite sure what is going to um, work for that code, just stick that code in at checkout. And if it will apply, it will apply. NCM Mixed Media. But we're really excited today because we've got a brand new launch. Also in this show, I believe, if you comment along whilst you're shopping, we are giving somebody, one lucky commenter, the opportunity to win a free mystery bag. Ooh! What's in the mystery bag? I genuinely don't know. <laughs> this time it really is a mystery. And if you go, oh, Ben, show us what's in the mystery bag, I won't be able to because I really don't know. I honestly, this time, look, I'm not, this time I don't know. He doesn't know. So just comment. And um, if you watch and you shop, then you could be getting a mystery bag um, flying your way. And all you've got to do is say hello, ask us a question, let us know what you're shopping for, that kind of thing. The thing that you do each and every day. But we have got the brand new launch of the Bold Geometric 3D embossing folders. We're super excited. We've got the collection, we've got a showstopper, we've got individuals. I'll take you all around that in just a few moments time. However, let me introduce you to the lady who is with me for the first three days this week. You're not here with me all week, just three days. <laughs> uh, but I'd like to say she's back, my absolute fave, TV wifey. It's the one and only Barnsley Bombshell, Debbie Robinson. How oh, are you? Oh, bless you. Look, I love those introductions. They're absolutely fabulous. What I'm loving though today, Ben, I... How many times do you hear me say how much I love an embossing folder? Oh, I know. I love embossing folders. I love what you can do from a, an ordinary piece of cardstock and turn it into those magical, wonderful thing. And you know what I love about these? I love the shapes, the patterns, yeah. those geometrical shapes running through them all. Something with a little bit of a twist, something that little bit different. They're not your standard florals or your butterflies or things like that. But they are 3D and they are geometrics. And I'm going to show you some... I, I, I don't even know where to start with samples. Get in there. I think there. I'll start with what we're going to make up straight away because that's my first card that we're going to make. Um, keeping it really nice and simple, but look at that dimension that you get from using your inks. And of course, an embossing folder does not have to be, I mean, personally, that is a focal part, part, but it doesn't have to be just on its own. You can add other elements from your collections, things like, that's the floral creations with one of the stamps. But then you can have fun with your embossing folders. Oh, wow. And I love what Nicole's done with this. She's created this beautiful bag, um, and that lovely design running through there so look cool. at this gorgeous but oh that would be close oh I, I saw a bit of a I saw a bit of a close-up then, Jamie. What happened there? <laughs> oh, like, woo, woo. That was a little bit of a close-up. <laughs> back up on the close-up. Back up, yeah, get back up there. Uh, look, this again. That embossing folder is five by seven in shape and size. However, you can take it into all dimensions of your crafting. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you quite a few actually, because yeah. just so you can get a gist of the types of things that you can be doing with it. And it adds texture, it creates texture. Um, then you can have a nice bit of fun with it as well. So turn them into your little shaker cards with your other elements. I love that, that one with really the black cool. and silver. Yeah. Um, and that's one of those uh, lovely, um, you know the holographic papers that we oh, did, the 12 yeah. by 12. Mm -hmm. you, can, you can take that. And this is one of the reasons why I'm showing you this one as well, because you can take patterned papers and you can create a little bit of depth and dimension and add things like your gems into there. 
what about adding a little bit of a twist taking that design and then just chopping into it um they're, they're all the rage at the minute the uh, fractured cards and things like that and um, everybody is loving those kind of styles but there's all different types oh, of cool. crafting elements that you can take and embossing fold it into that's a stunner that lovely twisted easel or a tweezel as we officially tweezel. this is one of nick's favorite because she said she loved how many that's a full shaker, that's isn't it? That's a proper... That, Nicole, that is a proper shaker card um, with all those beautiful beads in. I'm just going to show you a few more so you can get the idea of what Ben's going to be showing you in a second. Uh, but each one of those that you could... I mean, that's the same embossing fold. Yeah. But look at the difference there that you... Honestly, you're going to love them. I always love... And I, I will not surprise you to know, mm. Ben, that there will be a bit of gilding wax making an appearance... Gilding um, wax? ..in the show today. Okay. Um, and then a lovely one that Lily did. Lily's just taken a simple, basic card and created a bit of depth and dimension by cutting into, like, squares and then embossing with it as well. So there are lots of things that you can do with an embossing folder. Get your inks out, get your, get your colouring mediums out, colour yeah. some of the aspects in. Um, just have a lot of fun with it. Never underestimate the power of an embossing folder. And if our Christine Mahoney is watching... She our is. Christine Mahoney, is she watching? She's watching. She made some amazing projects with some embossing folders on her... On her cos she's got a YouTube channel. And she made some amazing... Things. That's the power of an embossing folder. The things that you can do with it and take it into your world of whatever you craft, the medium that you're crafting, take it into your world. So absolutely, honestly, you're going to love them. And I'll tell you something else. Whether you're going for one or the whole lot, you're going to love the showstopper. Mm -hmm. You really are, because um, we thought of everything, aren't we, with this one? We have, and there's tons. Well, bang for buck, you're just not going to beat it. What I will say on the showstopper, and, and producer Nicola will have to remind me on the numbers, but we don't have a huge amount of the showstopper. Uh, in fact, we have less than 200 now remaining if you want to go for the showstopper. Um, we'll go through that and then I'll say a few of those because we're already very, very busy. Uh, so the showstopper, value for money, is off the chart, thebomb.com. Um, before we even get into the folders themselves, all of the extras that you're going to get in the showstopper, incredible, and we've thought of everything too. Now, you are going to get within the collection uh, your set of beautiful uh, mirror and matte mirror cardstock from the Floral Elegance Collection. You're going to get the beautiful luxury cardstock, the ice blue, where you get 10 sheets of your glitter, 10 sheets of your mirror, 10 sheets of your matte mirror. You're also going to get a pot of gilding wax and 60 sheets of card. Now, all of that would cost you an extra £51 or 69 bucks, but with £15 or $25, that's all we're asking for on top. And it's all stuff that's going to work perfectly with this collection that you're going to come to time and time again within your craft room. If the budget allows today, this has got to be the one you go for, but you will have to go fast because, as I've said, we have got less than 200 of the showstoppers to go round. And, of course, you get all of the brand new folders as well. And these really are just incredible. Love this one. For me, this has got like, um, I can imagine this being quite like a, a one you'd use in quite a summary card. Got a bit of a pinwheel effect to it. You know what I think? Um, the, the sort of being by the beach. Yeah, oh, that's it, Nicola. The things, you know, as a kid, you go like that on them um, and they spin 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 um, so that's uh, the kind of design that you got here all 3d as well so that really does help you kind of achieve that uh, effect of your design popping off the page they are stunning this one um, again absolutely beautiful I think would tie in quite nicely with um, lots of colors multicolors think rainbows perhaps maybe tie in with things from the color your world collection uh, you've also got the one that um, Debbie was showing you in a few projects um, a few moments ago got a bit of a seaside effect to this one I could imagine tying this one in maybe with the mermaid dreams that kind of thing but you know what the, the backgrounds that you've got here can be that starting point for a project or as we've seen with some of the cards already just adding some really vibrant colors adding a sentiment you know adding a uh, embellishment you don't need to do a lot more with these all the hard work is done for you um, and you know the designs again perhaps very very different to the sort of designs that you've seen before across uh, embossing folders that we have brought to you multiple uses is the great thing about these ease of use of course as well and whilst 
you know, you've got that five by seven size on these. There's nothing to stop you, of course, cutting these down, just using portions of these, because I always get stuck, as I know some of you do, like in that mindset of going, well, I have to use the whole thing each and every time I use it. You don't, that's the whole point, and that's what you're gonna see over the course of the show today. Get in nice and quickly, ask any questions, let's make it nice and interactive, and don't forget, the more you comment, the more chances I've got of winning that mystery goodie bag. What's in the bag? I don't know. It's a mystery. It's a mystery. Hey, it's a mystery. I can't help myself. Searching. <laughs> Hello, Toya. <laughs> Toya. <laughs> Uh, so Every time you said that, I just want to burst into song. I do apologise. <laughs> what was the other song you were singing this morning? Um, oh, Arabian Nights you were singing, Oh, you? yes, because something's coming up very soon that you will burst out into song. <coughs> Next week. Have Sorry, you what? watched it yet? What? Um, Aladdin. Well, I, ha I ha no, here's the thing. I have watched it, <sighs> but not to the point that I remembered that song. Arabian Nights. You're going to love it. Anton, you need to watch it. Let me tell you right now, you need to watch it. And you definitely need to read, watch next week when we're launching that one. Um, Superstar Susie's on the socials. Good morning. Hello, Polly Cohen, Florida. Laurie Barnett says, hi, Ben. Hi, Debbie. Happy Monday. Hanging out with you all from Gilbert, Arizona. Mary Beth in Minnesota. Christine Mahoney is in saying, good morning, everyone. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> Nearly broke into Robin Williams then. Uh, Evelyn Kiefer says good morning from Colorado. Rosalind's in from Maryland. Teresa's in, uh, says good morning. My beautiful crafting friends. Betty Gossel joins us from Oklahoma, where the wind comes sweeping down the plains. Nancy Funigiello joins us from Spartanburg, South Carolina. Nancy Funigiello um, from Spartanburg, South Carolina. Um, Evelyn Keeper says, oh, that sounds exciting. A true mystery bag. I know, I literally don't know, but it's exciting. Uh, Carolyn Cooey says, good morning, everyone. Looking forward to a great show. Christine Mahoney says, hello, Debbie. <laughs> We've missed you. Christine Aww. missed you. Oh, bless you. Uh, thank you. Monkey Ball Ranch and Dairy says, good morning from Texas. Howdy. Uh, when are the new ink pads come in? Um, they're either next week or the week after, but I will confirm. Next week. It is next week. Uh, lovely to see you too, says Sandra. Looking forward to a laugh and some crafty know-how. You'll get both. Uh, Cindy Richmond is in from Worcester, Mass. Worcester, Massachusetts. Uh, Lynn Bledsoe from Indiana. Elkie Wem from San Jose. Michelle Nitz for in. Lynn Morton's in from a sunny Newcastle. Laura Hayner says, good afternoon. A little late as I was catching up on the craft story you did with Debbie. What an interesting. What an interesting to learn all about Debbie. Uh, I loved it. Can we have one where Craig asked Asks you. Maybe further down the line. Maybe we'll do that. Uh, Debbie says, good morning from a snowy Michigan. Fred's in from California. Oh, yeah, and Debbie wanted to do the interview as well. I, I, got, I got in there first. Yeah. There's, there's going to be fisticuffs. <laughs> I said that we're going to do it first. I said, OK. He can do it if he wants to do it. No. Debbie, Debbie's going to... Debbie's going to do it. Maybe we'll do it this week. Uh, Wendy says, uh, hi, Ben, Debbie, Team Social and all the crafters. Khalees is in and Crafty Angie. Right! Let's get going. Get your showstopper now. Of course, as I said, if you want the collection on its own, you can. If you want individuals, you can. But listen, let's get inspiring um, with some demos. Um, how many have you got up your sleeve today? Plenty. Um, I've got four here, but if anybody wants to ask about anything to do with embossing, yeah. um, more than welcome to, because I'm, I'm, I will say I'm easy and open then. Well, that doesn't sound right. Well, but you know what I mean? We know what you mean. You, you, it's an interactive channel. If you want to ask away, <laughs> just ask away. <laughs> Um, honestly, I will answer any questions, definitely. Uh, can I get started then? Do it. Because I love embossing Which are you folders. starting with? That's going to be the mystery. This was the difficult bit, is which one do I start yeah. with? And now, you always have, and I don't care what anybody says, there is always a favourite in a collection. And this one is possibly my favourite of the collection, which is the geometric swirls. Although in my head, every time I say that, I have got Craig's voice in my head. Mm doing the swirls. Geometric swirls. Squirrels, the squirrels. 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 Because he always sounds like he's saying squirrels. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I just, I just think these are fabulous. Now, a 3D embossing folder is a thicker plastic. So you've got, it's not your standard size. It, a standard one is a bit thinner than what you can see right here. It's quite a visual one, this one. Mm. But you can also feel a texture in there because there are three levels of that embossing from your flat to the raised to that 3D sculptured. Um, now, I will tell you with these, 
for your inboss and your deboss, especially if you're using like a pattern card, which we'll come on to in the second demo, not so much in this first one, because it really doesn't matter with this one, I'm using some inks. Uh, but that is where you are going to place it in, where it's the raise. So for getting anything with pattern cardstock, um, but again, I'll explain a little bit more in a second. I know now that that's gonna push through that cardstock because we've got our crafters companion logo on the back. Now I'm using some water reactive cards. I've already trimmed this down. This is a, a five by seven um, embossing folder, but yeah. I've trimmed it down just a quarter of an inch. And when I have inked it up, we will be trimming it down a little bit further as well. Right, now then. First things first, we need to talk about plates and platforms. Oh, yes. And this is important with all of these. You, your combination in your Gemini electronic die-cutting machine, so that's the original, the Junior, the G2, the Pro, the combination for 3D embossing folder will always remain the same. The, min, the MIDI, not the mini, the MIDI, you just simply run it through the mouth of the machine for a 3D embossing folder. Yeah. But because our electronic is at the side of me, uh, the combination you need is one of your cutting plates that you're going to pop your folder onto the top of there, then the magnetic shim, then the other plastic shim. So that's that frosted, I say frosted shim, it's that clear shim. Yeah. It's now clear. It is frosted, but it's still clear. And then just run that through. Now, that's your combination for your 3D embossing folder in a Gemini machine. If your Gemini machine has got a lot of power, it may be that it tears through some certain cardstock. Okay. If that's the case, you take out the magnetic shim and just use those two. But the standard for what we tell you to start with is those three, and you'll know with your own machine um, if oh, already, even on white cardstock, My I'm just going to angle it. You can see that 3D instantly. It is sculpted, Nicola. That's exactly what 3D and is all that's about. that's the best show of it, because if it's shown up that well on white cardstock, exactly. you know how good and it is. And we're going to bring it to life in a minute, because we're going to add some ink to it. Yeah. Um, so, literally, you see that depth. And that's the difference that you get with what we call 3D. So, a more flatter level, then raised, then even more raised. And you'll see it with some of the designs. And either side looks beautiful. The, do you know the d bus side to the embossed side looks absolutely incredible but I think straight away what you can see is that depth and dimension absolutely. when you angle it like that yeah but like I said we're going to bring it to life with some color now I'm going to use some water reactive we've got some fabulous um, inks on the show today and I will be using some um, as we come along later on but I'm just I've gone with my favorite two colors yeah. uh, with this look at that dimension from the front of it have incredible. you seen the Jamie shot Jamie Boom. you are getting good boy Absolutely amazing. These shots are fabulous. You're getting good, Jamie. Keep practicing. Oh, no, bless you. Do you know, in, in, isn't he just amazing? No, he is. he, he really is. is amazing. And I, I'm not just saying that because he's in me here. No. He genuinely is. And he's also the sweetest kid. His mum must be so proud. Yeah. Proud of him. You should, he, Only he might, to he, me, he, he says. He might be nice to you. You don't hear what he says in my ear. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, well, you're always sweet with me, Jamie. I'll be, I like I'll to be think sending him home with a uh, report card to his mum if he keeps saying the things he says to me. He'll <laughs> <laughs> get an A star from you. Oh, I love that. No, I can't believe that, Jamie. I'm not having it, actually. I'm not having it, Ben. <laughs> There's no way he says naughty things That's in your brave. ears. <laughs> <laughs> Is it? Well, Craig just winds him up. Craig's a wind-up merchant with him. I think they're as bad as each other, I think, aren't are they, they, Jamie? You and Craig together. I think you're like, um, you're like two I brothers. Call it, they're like brothers, aren't they? Yeah. Like the younger and older yeah, brother. Teasing each other. Teasing, yeah. That sibling, sibling um, rivalry sibling that you rivalry, get. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, oh, straight away, I mean, I've not even talked about just how incredible yeah. that's already looking. Um, but I'm just going to mingle between the two. Of course, you could add your rainbow colours. What colours are you using there? Um, I'm just using our normal fuchsia and um, the damson. Oh, damson white. Wine. I've gone darker. Oh. I did on my first one. I used uh, crushed velvet. I could have sworn that said crushed and velvet. And um, then um, what type of ink is it? This is water reactive. Oh, water reactive. Yeah, water reactive. However, it doesn't really matter, does it? No. I don't suppose it don't matter what you, um, ink you use. The damson wine, crushed velvet. What was the first one you used? Uh, fuchsia, fu oh, you. You. <laughs> <laughs> I've, just, I've just glanced up at him and I've just seen him doing this. Just like that, exactly like that. You were waiting, weren't you? Fuchsia. Ah, so you're going back to the fuchsia now. I've not done that for a while, to be really? fair. Really? We haven't. Really? Have no. you not? No. 
You. You win. asked the lovely viewers. They'll tell you. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, oh, dear. dear. God love you. You've missed me. I have missed you. I've missed all of you. It's been, I think. Is it? I think two three weeks, weeks ago. Three weeks. Is it three uh, weeks? Well, I've two. No, week of Debbie, week of Craig. Yeah. Yeah. And you were off last week, weren't you? On a day. <laughs> well. Yes. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> <laughs> now I did a lot of um, a lot of uh, babysitting duties last week on yeah. top of prepping for uh, the shows as well um, because. Um, I gave, I, it's like with anything, I give her the schedule. She can only work when, because she can only work when I'm not at work. So mm. I gave her my schedule. What I didn't think she would do was she was the entire holiday up. No. And said to me, um, you haven't remembered you've got kids every day this week. You were like, the, 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 excuse me, what? Say what? <laughs> what? Um, yeah, two till half ten. I love them dearly. I love dearly. I was absolutely cream crackered by the end of the week. That's all I'm going to say. Just creamy crackered. Two I till really half was. ten. Two till half ten. Yes. Not yes. half ten till two. No, two in the afternoon till half past ten at night. Yikes. Yes. Yes. So um, the other way round wouldn't have been so bad, would it? <laughs> half ten till two. <laughs> when they're in bed. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. Uh, now you can see straight away how that's been brought to life using, and I haven't lost any of that dimension. I've just added that ink to it, and you can see. Do you know what I love about this? When you do it, when you apply the ink afterwards, mm. um, I've got the white tracks still yeah. there. Can you see all those lovely white tracks? You could highlight those more. You could take one of your um, white gel pens or your acrylic paint markers and go into those but I love the dimension that you've got with this geometric one oh he's coming in really oh hello I haven't done it I haven't done my blend I, I yeah, I'm gonna get back a bit get back a bit I haven't done my blend there <laughs> oh gosh they were bit going too really a bit, bit too yeah a bit 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 too that one a bit too close what you like. What's he like with this uh, Right, today? I'm going to add, though, I love adding a little bit of faux bleaching. Uh, so I'm just going to drop some uh, water over the top. Um, the one that I did do at home actually was um, crushed velvet, not yeah. damson wine. Okay. However, I think this looks quite nice as well with the, the offset there. I'll tell you what, Debbie, you're already inspiring loads of people. Diana Green has just gone for the uh, showstopper. Yeah. Um, Carol G says, uh, these embossing followers are tempting me. There goes the kid's inheritance. <laughs> um, uh, I, tell, I tell my kids that my craft room is their inheritance. So they'll have to, they'll have to sell it all. <laughs> I tell them, I keep saying to me, it's your inheritance, yeah. that craft room, so just keep, keep, you know, make sure you look after it. That's yeah. what I tell them all the time. Once they sell all your stuff, they'll be millionaires. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so I've just dropped the water on, and while we've been just having that little uh, little laugh there, letting that water soak in, because what it does is it soaks into that colour and then sucks the ink right out of it when you add and apply a little tissue over the top. You've seen this being done loads of times, and I still it always still grabs me um, because it looks absolutely fabulous yeah. when you add that on. Now you'll get a different effect if you're going to use the um, duet ink pads because you get more of a chalkier finish and a little bit more of a whiter finish underneath as well because that um, process that we use with the water when you add yeah. that water to it just lifts it a little bit more now what i've just done with this one is trim this down and you can see that in fact do you know what to be fair there's not much color difference is there there's not much color difference no. so that was just the darker purple that was the crushed velvet um one that i did and i just trimmed off those edges then what I've done is I've brought in a tenfold card. Now, this is five by seven, but obviously, when you trim it back down, it, it actually measures, when you've trimmed all the edges off, to four and three quarters by six and three quarters. Um, so you can take your measurements for your mats and layers, but I've, this base card here is eight by six, if I remember rightly, because I only did, yeah, eight by six, and I've just added a, a tenfold feature to it. But they can go anyway. In fact, you know what? I'm going to change it up. I'm going to change that up. So I've got some matte black cardstock. Now with this particular uh, piece of watercolour card, all I did with that, Ben, was I added some ink yep. in purple, pink, purple, Ooh. pink, purple, pink, purple, pink, purple, all the way around and did exactly the same. Cosmosy. Exactly. Cosmic collection. I didn't want to waste my cosmic ah. paper. I'm trying to hang on to that with dear life, let me tell you. So it was exactly that same process, but that base card is eight by six. 
That one is seven and three quarters by five and three quarters. And I've just gone down a quarter of an inch each time. Now, normally I do a little bit of uh, gutting. Yes. Extracting. However you want to call it ing. Uh, but <laughs> I'm just going to keep it as a solid uh, for this particular one. Uh, just for a little bit of added strength and um, stability and rigidity. Although saying that, I am using all-purpose glue, and we all know how rigid that glue makes your card. Oh, yes. It dries like, like concrete. concrete. It absolutely does. So, again, I'm just going to add all my mats and my layers okay. to my card base. Now, matting and layering is a personal choice. I often get asked this. How many times do you mat and layer, Debbie? And it, I, I will tell Debbie? you right now, it depends on my mood. How many times do you mat and layer? Well, it depends on my mood, Ben. Okay. Seriously, it depends on my mood. Minimum and maximum. Minimum two? Yeah. Actually, no. Three. Minimum one, depending on your cardstock. Heavily patterned cardstock, I will sometimes just put that down as a mat mm. onto a, like a white base or a black base. Um, so really, minimum, depending on your cardstock, depending on your mood, one. Uh, maximum, I try not to go too mad, because the more mats and layers 74. you add, you will, <laughs> you will really <laughs> create. You'll end up with a, what do they call it when it um, splits? Like, like banana a splits. card. A what? A Bambi card. You a mean. Bambi card. That's it. Yeah. yeah. So you've got to be careful. You've got to think about that when you when you're adding mats and layers. Now I have taken some more black and some more white because I want to add. So I, on this one, I've actually got my frame there, and then my two mats, and then three more mats that are going to sit over the top. So if I just show you for a second, so that's why I didn't do too much. That's why I left it in that centre. Although I do like that centre. Now yeah. you said that. Um, Another one gone. Alison Lee's just changed her order and gone for the showstopper. It's Our... a really good one, and I'm going yeah. to be creating something with that um, in a second. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's her birthday, she said. So, you know Happy what? Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Alison. And also, yes, treat yourself. It's your birthday. We're going to party like it's your birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Mary Beth always says, I love 3D embossing folders. I wasn't going to get anything, but that's, but that's foolish. Of course, I will be getting some. Um, the comments are off the chart today as well, by the way. Uh, loads of you are obviously suggesting the ways that you are going to be using. Jeanette Shirley says, I think this folder would look really nice with some sequins in the centre of the clusters. Absolutely. Do mm. you know? We might just even have to do that. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Great minds I love think alike. A I love a sequin or a gem. Yeah. Or a dew drop. Ooh. Mm. Um, you set me off now. <laughs> set me off. Thinking. Lynn Marie's joined us in West Michigan. Jackie Schwartz is in from Farmersville, Texas. Uh, Alexandra's in. Um, and Betty Gossel says, I love being retired except the hit to my crafting budget. Anyone want to adopt me? Ta! Lol. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Betty, I'll adopt you. <laughs> I'll adopt you. <laughs> Now then, I am going to keep... I was going to do the tent, but I'm changing it up and I'm going to do um, a oh, side okay. opener um, yeah. on a, a landscape. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I quite like that. Yeah, I'm glad I've changed it up now. Actually, that... Because I did have two, uh, two sentiments, so I'm debating. I might change it up to the long one because on my initial card, I went like this with a smaller sentiment. Oh, so yeah. I added me smaller sentiment, but I'd add one. So I think I'm going to change it up a little bit more. Okay. So I'm going to add this one on. And I've got to use some foam pads to give it a little lift. Let's go in there. I do love an embossing folder though, Ben. I always have. I, don't, I mean, do you know what? I don't even count how many I've got oh. over the years because... <sighs> Have you got more than 125? Because oh that's what Rhonda reckons she's God, got. Yeah. 125. I, I reckon. Go on. I, I, I reckon I'm in the high. Do you the high three figures? I reckon I'm in the high three figures. What? As in what? Up, what? In, for in Boston, oh, I, I, de I definitely got a lot. I genuinely am obsessed with embossing folders. I might. Do you know what? Count next their next map. holiday, I might count, count them up. up. <laughs> Can anyone beat? Has anyone into four figures on embossing folders? Let us know. That's see, I've been I have been crafting for a long time though, Ben. Can I just tell you, I've been crafting a long time, <laughs> and embossing <laughs> folders, and and you'll get me when I say this. It used to be the cheaper option that you could buy, do you yeah. know, rather than metal dies. Metal dies were quite expensive back mm. in the day. Um, so for me, embossing folders was always a way that I could get creative and change. You know, add that add all this 
to it yeah but without spending a lot of money so for me embossing folders and i'm at a beer line from all the time i remember the embossalicious that we used to do embossalicious i can't even say it embossalicious but emboss Stop saying it like that, Debbie. Embossalicious. Oh, I don't like Embossalicious, okay. yeah. And we used to do them in like small ones, square ones, oh. big ones, A4 ones. Oh, I love, 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 love. Now, I've used floral creations. Just slightly obsessed, not gonna lie. Um, I love uh, floral creations, Ben. Um, I'm not even sure if we've got any left anymore now. Uh, but I absolutely adore that collection. Yeah, we did the thing together, didn't we? We did indeed. Our little um, craft along. We did indeed. Yeah, lots of people love that. Me and you crafting together. I husband, still love that craft and along. It was fun. And there's been so many tags on that. Have you seen the amount of people oh, who've made, made your craft along? Crazy, yeah, absolutely crazy. Yeah, it, it was a fabulous show. Do you know what I loved about that craft along more than anything? And the fact that you yeah. obviously led it and then inspired it with your kind of take. But the fact that people were obviously cutting out all the different flowers, they yeah. then kind of rearranged and did it in their own sort of style. Yeah, that's I what really I like that. Yeah, definitely. That's what I love about our craft alongs. We had the guests as well, didn't we? Oh, yeah, Victoria. Oh, lovely Victoria. Yeah, and Hip Hop the Rabbit. Or the Roll oh, yeah. The... First time we'd ever had a little bunny yeah. rabbit feature. Bun Bun. And Violet was on the show as oh, well, don't forget. Oh, yeah, She's, lovely I think Violet. we've celebrated her birthday since. Oh. Um, so, yeah, it's all going on. Right, I'm just going to add one more little filiage, darling, underneath. Rosalind says, Debbie, you're not alone. The last time I counted, I had close to 500 embossing folders. <laughs> Uh, after 20 plus years of crafting, I'm sure there are more in a cubby somewhere. Yeah, do you know that is funny, <laughs> funnily, funnily enough. Um, so back in my old craft room, which still isn't the bedroom, um, <laughs> two years later, um, there are boxes that are in the corner that I know full well are full of embossing folders. So that figure could run up even more. Oh, now then, gems. She mentioned, ge well, she mentioned sequins, but I think I'm going to go with a little bit of a gem. Okay. I've got some gems in the centre of my flowers, but I've got some nice little, uh, is it Aurora Borealis? A, B. We'll go with the A, B. I like that, Nick. But what a great idea. Thank you for giving me that idea then, because this was not where this, this demo was going. Um, but and it, to be fair, it wasn't where the demo was going because I was changing it up into a different style of a card. Oh. But when we put them side by side, both look equally as lovely. And do you know, simply a little bit of an ink. You might have got some um, flowers in your collection. If you haven't got the floral creation, no worries, because you will have some floral dyes somewhere. Uh, what about butterflies? Adding oh, your butterflies. Yeah. Talking mm -hmm. of butterflies. Yes. Talking about flies. Talking about butterflies tomorrow. Oh, yes. Sorry. Tomorrow. Yes. A bit slow to react there. Yeah. The launch party. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I get so excited. I love. Well, you know, I love a butterfly. You know, I love one. Now, then, just one more. I'll add one into that one. Have I missed anywhere, Ben? Oh, I have. I've missed that corner. Let's go in. We've got plenty of time, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah, we've got loads of time. And it's just those added little details, but look what we've created mm. with a little bit of ink. Oh, I do like that idea. Who was that lovely lady that said Jeanette. that to us? Annette. Jeanette. Jeanette. Yeah. Love you. Thank you for mm -hmm. literally changing up what I was creating, because this was where, seriously, this was what I was going to create. Uh, but just by changing the dimension, I've gone slightly different and adding those little gems in there as well just I think just makes them look but look at that two cards from that same design there same inks but again just look how beautiful uh, that embossing folder does to mm. um to your projects I'm just, gonna, yeah. I'm just gonna try and hold those up there stay up there you magnificent and thank um, you very much again like how simple to follow but how professional and amazing is the finished product. I don't know why I'm talking like that, but um, I'm just <laughs> shocked at how simple it is to follow, but the, the, the results that you can get, and obviously we'll be doing more, but you know, again, if you're, if you're new to it, uh, you can get these out of the packet, 
get them straight home, get crafting, create something like that. Easy peasy, it looks the business. 10% of the showstopper already gone. Um, Laurie's joined us saying, good morning, Ben, Debbie and crew. This is an absolutely beautiful card. Absolute need for my collection. Get it in your cart and we're going to give you time to check out in a second. Um, that embossing folder reminds me of Hind Rangers, says Sue. Rachel says, hi, Debbie and Ben. I love the new folders already and I love creating my own papers. We must say hi to Stephanie Barnett as well. He says, hello, crafty friends from a chilly Wisconsin. Celebrating my birthday today Happy, happy birthday. birthday with some orange kitties no oh, what what celebrating my birthday with some orange kitties uh it's oh yes stephanie nick nick saying you, you've done craft along with this before with the cat that just appears we think so many crafters so many pets uh <laughs> Tracy, I meant to mention that. Now, Tracy's just walking into the studio with a shoe. Um, that oh, it's shoe, one of mine. That was, it was by your car, and I meant to mention it. Thank you very much. It's one of my, it's my slippers. Oh, Thank you very much, Slipper. Tracy. I it was by my car. I did wonder why you were walking like this today. Then you got one shoe on. I can't believe it. <laughs> well, thank God it weren't raining, that's oh. all I'm going to say. Uh, they're, me, they're me bobs. The what? They're me bobs. What do you mean, your bobs? The bob slippers. The bob, they're not bob slippers, they're well, my slippers, bob, but they're called bobs. Wearing? It's a sketcher. It's a brand from Ske do you know Sketchers. Do you know the brands? There are other shoe brands out there, can right. I just say? Not, yeah. um, I'm not sponsored by them. Um, I, just, <laughs> I just love them, and they're bobs. They're called bobs. Ah. Yeah. Why was it under your car? Um, they were in my car, so when I pulled my food bag out, I've obviously pulled my bobs out at the same time. <laughs> what am I like? Out. Pulled my bobs. On <laughs> 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 that note, I'll read some more comments in just a few moments time, <laughs> but you guys get to the checkouts. Uh, whilst we do that, uh, we'll get her to put her bobs back in and we'll come back with some more demos in the <laughs> My day-to-day -day life is uh, pretty busy in where literally I get in the door, I check my polls, uh, I then check what I've got to demo, I then get everything ready um, and it's just busy, busy, busy from there. I, um, I have a meeting with the producer, the director, we get then sorted for the shows, uh, talk to the presenter um, and it depends what side I'm on. I mean sometimes I'm doing the presenting side, sometimes I'm doing the demonstration side and I love both. It's actually who I get to work with. That's, yeah, I can't say no more than that other than anybody that works here. Uh, we are a big family. We're so super friendly. Um, I love Ben. I love it when we work together. And I don't mean that I don't love anyone else. It's the fact that Ben is the presenter and then I'm demonstrating and we just have this great rapport. Uh, same with Craig, same with Deb, same with the whole team. So yeah, the best part of the day is just getting to work with the best people in the industry. Oh, a night out. Uh, in the morning. Oh, none. I only drink water. Oh, well, I'm cutting out sugar, so it's got to be uh, savoury. Ah, <gasps> masterclass. Oh, I can't leave the house without my lipstick. Oh, I love a baked potato. I relax, so I literally drive home normally and then I relax. I like to get up, chill, relax, get a cup of tea, then get myself sorted. And if I'm presenter, I'll write all my notes. If I'm the demonstrator, I'll get my prep out, have another look at it, make sure that everything is the way it needs to be for the show, do the show, then what I'll do is I'll grab something to eat, then have another look at the sheets again, making sure the next show's all good to go. Then we do that show tidy. I always like to make sure that the area's nice and tidy, either for myself the next day or whoever's in. Jump in the car, head home, I will quickly unpack what I need to unpack and then I get on that sofa as quick as I can. 
as soon as we go live, I love that within our live shows, I always get the butterflies. As soon as we get that countdown in our ear that we're just going live, butterflies kick in and within about 10, 15 seconds, I'm going. Butterflies have gone and we just enjoy the show. Early riser. Oh, shower in the morning. Tea. Oh, savoury breakfast. Masterclass. My mobile phone. Oh, anything with chicken. Currently, it is the weekend, blind and light, and it has been for about a couple of years, and I still love it. Uh, apart from jumping in the car, chilling on the sofa, watching TV. Hello, welcome back. Uh, it it's launch day. Um, here we are. Loads of you loving the show so far. Um, good morning to Jen, who's joined us for Holidays Designs. Maricel says, hello all. Don't you just love those last minute Debbie adjustments that give us even more ideas? Um, Jeanette also says, today's my parents' anniversary. Uh, they've been married 65 years and they're still very much in love. Well, that's marvellous. Um, happy anniversary. Uh, Gaz is in saying, I do love these better get showstopper I, I do love these, oh, comma, better get these showstoppers in, haha, -ha. and I was meant to be on a spend ban because I'm off to Evesham Saturday for Sheena's class. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah, this, yeah, that. This weekend, yeah, she's there. Sheena's with us on Thursday this week as well, don't forget, it's not Sheena Wednesday this week, it's Sheena Thursday, yeah, and cartload Thursday, Friday, just to keep you on your toes. <laughs> um, Anne says, uh, I don't count, read the number of uh, embossing folders. I don't count my things, it's too scary. Uh, Pat's joined us saying, top of the morning, everyone from New Jersey. And Margaret says, hi, Debbie and Ben, I will be getting some of these. Uh, they are brilliant, will make lovely backgrounds. Um, mm. Carlette has joined us from Arkansas. Wendy's in uh, uh, Dark Oregon. And Carol Garwood Beard says, good morning, from South Dakota. Uh, also, hello to Evelyn Boyd, Sensational Sky, um, and Shadaya, who says, Good morning, Ben, and Fab Debbie. Late for the show, was updating and relaunching here now. Uh, Anne says, Beautiful card, Debbie. Uh, superb card, says Alison. Uh, and Stephanie, Stephanie with the cats, the orange kitties, says, Yes, uh, my badger joined us on the craft along. Badger. And you sent in picture of, your picture of badger for our pets. Well, yes. And Badger, or was that, I think that might have been on my Facebook page, Nicola. I think, I think, I think. 10% um, of the showstopper's gone, right? Over 10%, lots of you checking it out there. There are options there for you, as I've said. And remember, uh, you can go for the individuals if, you, individuals if you want. It's absolutely fine. If you just want the collection on its own, you can do that too. But here's the showstopper. Here's everything that you're going to get within the showstopper. Um, all of the goodies, all of these extras around the front as well. So you're going to get within the showstopper 30 sheets of your luxury cardstock. You're also going to get your pot of um, Pebio Gilding Wax, 60 sheets of your multi-purpose card. And on top of all of that, you're going to get your uh, beautiful floral elegance um, paper pad is what I'm trying to say. Uh, within that, you get your mirror card and you also get your matte mirror card included as well. Um, that is an extra £51 or $69 worth of goodies for just £15 or $25. And of course, you get all of those fantastic 3D bold geometric embossing folders too which I just think you're going to have the best time playing with. We've already looked at the, um, the first one here, but you're getting all of these fantastic designs. And uh, no doubt across the day, if we don't see them in demo form, you'll certainly see them in um, sample form. So you're going to get all of the inspiration, all of the ideas. But I just think they're a great starting point as well. You know, um, if you do just like to have a bit of a play, want to be able to create, you know, stunning, easy cards. Embossing folders like this do just make it so easy. Because as you've seen, you know, with, with Debbie, you, this is your background here. Just adding lots of uh, beautiful different colors of ink, adding an embellishment, adding a sentiment. You've made a really quick, easy card. Um, so in that kind of respect, I think these are definitely for everybody, even if you've got uh, 500 plus 
<laughs> embossing folders. Um, £48.76. If you go for the showstopper, you then open up your bonus buy, of course, as well. And it is incredible because for the first time ever on a bonus buy, we're going to give you the opportunity to get your gold shimmer ink pads, eight piece collection for half price. You need to buy this, all right, the showstopper. You need to put this in the same basket as this. And then this price here is halved. So you're at 2250 or 35 bucks. Oy, and then you're gonna get then you're gonna get your platinum discount off that as well, aren't you? No. Yeah, you are. So it's gonna be $28 platinum. If you're in the UK and you're a platinum member, it's um, $22.50 less. Uh, that's four pounds fifty. 18, 18 quid. Is that right? No. Seventeen sixty. That is crazy. And the, these. Oh, I, I knew it. I listen to me. I knew it was right. I knew it. <laughs> Eighteen pounds platinum. And these are the kind of um, next level on front they from the original shimmer ink pads, where you're going to get that beautiful uh, gold pearlescent pigment shining through. Uh, all those beautiful metallic uh, effects. Of course, you've got that new design of ink pad there too. So they're going to hold really beautifully that stunning ergonomic design and all of those eight colors you're getting for, well, a redonkulous price. 18 pounds platinum, $28 if you're in the US and you're platinum. Uh, so don't miss out on those. 48 pounds, $76 for the showstopper. And of course, add those in. If you want individuals, you can. If you just want to go for the collection, you can also do that as well. And there is Susie, yes, a new code this week as well. If you have just joined us, NCM Mixed Media. So NCM Mixed Media will get you 30% off selected mixed media items. Um, head to the website to check out all the deals. And of course, don't forget in this show, somebody who comments is going to win a mystery bag simply for commenting. Do you want to see? Do you, do you want to see? You do, you do. It's a mystery. <laughs> and I genuinely, I genuinely don't know. I love I mean, it though. So, and I, do we, so nobody knows what's in the mystery bag. Well, I mean, some, hopefully somebody knows, because otherwise we'll be like sending a bag off to someone. They'll be like, I don't know what's in it. Do you, I don't know. Do you, I don't know. Oh, it's a mystery. So when we find out is when whoever wins, they'll be able to tell us when it arrives. They'll yeah. be able to tell us what was in the mystery bag. They'll, they'll have to I love, tell us what I love, they want. I love a proper mystery like that. Yeah, it's kind of like. Sort of Scooby Doo ish, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, keep commenting, ask any questions. If there's anything you want to see, ask Debbie. She's obviously got her demos lined up, but if there's anything that you want to see as far as techniques are concerned, I have the other question from Kendall who wants to know uh, whether or not these embossing folders, Debbie, will work in her MIDI. In a MIDI, yes. Yeah. In the MIDI, you're simply going to take your folder yeah. and your cardstock yeah. and run it through the machine, That's nothing it. else, because mm. it's 3D. And a 3D folder through a midi machine needs no plates whatsoever yeah. you just simply run that folder through the mouth of the machine and yes it will so yeah absolutely cool. simplicity without the electricity yes what does nigel go on to say then uh simplicity without electricity oh i forgot now wait a minute yeah oh, it's not memorable no, is it it's not very it's not, memorable. No, it's not very memorable not like the original Ooh, it's not. simplicity but it, 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 it talks about all the rest of it capability yeah. craftability yeah or, and the rest of it portability yeah, it talk, it, yeah it's it not just really gets... not really caught on has it not like no simplicity without electricity <laughs> not really caught on nigel um look, look. That's I do love you. Crafty husband. Um, <laughs> he, does, he does catchphrases, but they're not quite as good. Uh, uh, Mary's doing this same, watching from Warman, Saskatchewan in Canada. The embossing folders are stunning. Um, and Stephanie says the floral elegance paper pad is worth it alone. Treating myself to the showstopper and some mixed media goodies. Good for you, Stephanie. Make sure you use that code. Let's get back to Debbie and see what we're going to come up with next. Which embossing folder are you using? I'm going to use the Geometric Diamonds, oh, another ooh. one of my favourites. I love that. Uh, style and that one is a beauty of a card it just looks stunning and that's just ink with a bit of gilding wax over the top of it that uh, that beautiful one however I'm going to use some of that mirror card that you have got in that floral um, packaging that's over there oh yeah at uh, that floral 12 by 12 yes is in that, that showstopper st the satin mirror card in that the sat honestly oh, oh. both the satin and the mirror are stunning mm -hmm. in that and then i've just seen that there's the blue in there as yeah. well so i could have took it from there however i've cut this down to size now i mentioned in that first demo the logo now this is a it's got 
mirror on one side, yeah. white on the other. Yeah. So whenever you're using this now, I want the 3D to come out on the top here. So that's what I'm talking about when you think of a rule of thumb. Make sure that your pretty papers or your pattern papers or your mirror card is facing upwards. So like the white is where the logo is, the blue is what you can see when you run it through the machine. And then again, that same combination for an electronic die cutting machine is simply cutting plate, magnetic shim and the plastic shim that goes onto the top and uh -huh. it's as simple as that easy peasy lemon squeezy mm -hmm. however do you know when you take an embossing folder through through mirror card oh just it just gives oh honestly such luxury and those gorgeous geometric diamonds are just popping off there look at that twinkling around just by using some mirror cardstock and again that depth and dimension a little bit trickier to see on this one but i think you you can get the gist look how gorgeous that looks That's it is amazing. absolutely beautiful now oh i was just about to say i'm just going to show it oh look at that you can see it though jamie thank you isn't it beautiful honestly mm. seriously love it however <clears throat> We're going to chop into it. What the? What the? What the? Let's chop into it. So first of all, I'm going to trim it down to the edges. Okay. And I think because I did me, me, sat me measuring a quarter of an inch, I don't really need to chop too much off this one. But I'm just going to chop into it so I've got it around all of those lovely diamonds. Let me just take... I've got that side. I think we need to... Uh, there we go that's perfect now what i'm going to do is i'm going to section this off so i'm going to use can you see the lines i'm going to use the lines to section this off so i'm taking it onto my um study said scoreboard then guillotine and i'm making sure that now i'm just going to trim into this and this is the fun thing with these you can have a whole heap of fun yeah. And I mean a lot of fun. Who says you have to use the full thing? Well, you do thing, not have it? to use the full thing at all. And I think people get stuck in that rut of saying, thinking that, don't they? That yeah, you there's... You use the whole yeah. thing every time. Absolutely. Have a, have a play. Have a play. Have a chop. Um, and we showed you that with some of the samples that we uh, did. Now, yeah. you can see I've, I've fractured it all up. <laughs> <laughs> But we're going to put it back together again. Okay. But I've got a bigger piece of cardstock. So I've taken some multi-purpose cardstock. I've measured this to seven and a half by five and a half. And then I'm just going to place them on um, with my tape pen. Mm -hmm. And because I have fractured it, you won't get an even when you do this. But I'll show you how to get around for there. So I'm just going to take that into that first corner like so so a little bit of a framing and then i'm going to come in with the next piece and i'm just gonna now any glues will work with this uh ben so again and then we're just going to marry up now i'm gonna you'll see in a second what i mean by this when you place it on because i'm putting a gap in between each one i don't know how that tape got onto the top of that one there we go um you can see that it's a little bit off jointy here but it's not going to matter in a second all i'm wanting to do is lay all of these down with that little bit of a gap in between each one of these putting the panels back together so to speak yeah you can chop into these though these little squares in that will create a nice dimension as well um, but again i'm just going to try and line it up a little bit because we are going to chop into it so at the minute you're probably thinking right it's not even debbie doesn't matter does not matter what because you're gonna because we're going to trim it down oh okay yeah we're going to trim it down um... so let's just carry on Popping this together, make sure I've got this the right way now. There okay. we go. Whilst um, whilst you're just uh, sticking that down, I can uh, read a few more comments. There's lots of lovely comments coming through. <coughs> um, Carolyn says, I love, love, love the MIDI. I don't have to think too much to get perfect results. That's why I use it. You don't have to engage the brain. Um, and Karen says, I love using my MIDI for embossing folders. I don't have to think about what plates to use. And it also does an excellent job at embossing, says yes, Karen, the MIDI. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, love the blue cardstock from the showstopper, says Pat. The mirror cardstock has uh, looked stunning with that folder, Debbie. Um, and Terry Fry Sheldon says, I'm just checking in from a sunny, blooming SC. SC, SC, SC. South Carolina this morning. Love the folders. Uh, thank you for the tips in regard how to put the paper in the folder, says Cindy. And Marlene Kajawa says, I love embossing folders. And thank you, Debbie, for all the lovely 
examples. And that's the thing. So as you can see, now when it when, when it was on that cardstock, it looked a right mess. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> because we've we've altered the, the size of it. So yeah. but now what I'm just doing is lining that up and chopping away, and then you've got a beautiful background. And it didn't take much to do that. Mm. And again, what you've got, and those little bits will go in the bin, is you've got all that dimension, but you're just adding a little bit um, in... Oh, God, look at that. Those, oh, they're bouncing <laughs> off there. Absolutely, Absolutely brilliant. Absolutely. Honestly, super, uh -huh. super easy to do. And that's a background paper that we're now going to add to a very simple card, Ben. I want to say a simple card. It's a 5 by 7 card, so it measures at 10 by 7 scored at 5. And then I've come in and just added a little bit of a fraction now again normally i don't waste my cardstock i don't know why i didn't got this because this is just glow in fact how are we doing for time oh do you know what i'm gonna save it normally when it's a studio set i don't but this me own <laughs> i don't know why i've done this that's because i was telling um Victoria yeah. earlier. I've been Alex. Alex, no, I do, I'm doing it again. For God's sake, what is up with me? Up with I don't me. know why I get them mixed up. I do it all the time. Yeah. Um, I was talking to Alex earlier and telling her I was binge watching a series. Still can't remember the name of this series, but really good. Mm. While I were prepping. Oh, so it difficult. It oh, no, it's Serial Killer. What? Serial Killer. Serial Killer stuff. Ah. It wasn't on a channel, it was on one of me, um, and I don't think it was Netflix. Was well, it a drama or a, docu or a documentary? No, 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 dra a drama. Mm. A man and a woman that go on a killing spree. Oh, Bonnie and Clyde? No, 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 no. Really good, really edgy. A detective tries to track him down. Oh. They're always one step ahead. She manipulates and coerces him into doing is and killing um, for her. Is, I forgot what it's called. Is it set back in the olden times? No. Oh, Kevin's got... No, 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 no. no. So, it's newish, yeah. I'm going to find it because when I was talking to Alex, I just couldn't remember. <laughs> I kept saying to her, so good, I can't, can't remember, remember, the name. remember so good, I can't remember what it was called. But yeah, it was really good. And there's two series out. I think it's on UK Drama, if I remember rightly, to channel that oh, oh, it's on my iPad. I'll get it up and yeah. I'll, I'll find out. But it's really, really good. But yeah, because I weren't concentrating, <clears throat> I haven't done any extracting of anything, oh. and it's my own cardstock. And my rule of thumb is, you always do. Yeah. Now, I've just done those mats and layers, again, just to give it that little bit of dimension. So, just going to add that on. You could add... Um, and I'll tell you why I've not gone mad with this, because that mirror card is, is very impactful. It's very mm. um, eye-catching. Yeah. So, again, I'm just going to pop that on, stick that down, and then... Now then... Do I, do I have it this way? Because I've got my sentiments and I've got, of course, yeah. because... Oh. Do you know what? I think I will. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with that. they just one of those decoupage pads? Yeah, the decoupage, you know, from yeah. the floral... Um, not floral, floral elegance. Yeah. Floral elegance, yeah. Floral elegance, that's the one. A lot of comments again um, about how these... Well, this background particularly would be good for a male card. Yes. I think. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I've horizon. added flowers to it. You don't have to add the flowers no. to it no. at all. Um, one of my sentiments in my stash as well. Um, so, again, just placing that into that centre. And I've got a foam pad on that one, but not on that one. Why, Debbie? Why? Let's go there. Beautiful. And then I'm just going to add foam pad into there. Simplistic elegance, this project, isn't it? Yeah, you absolutely. Know, such a beautiful card, Debbie, but achievable for everybody and that's such a brilliant brilliant demo and there, and there you go look at and that. again look how look how that pops and that's just taking that folder chopping yeah. into it adding it onto some more white, black, uh, white cardstock uh, but again it doesn't need much because you've no. got such a really impactful embossing folder there with the geometric um diamonds that it just makes that pop absolutely beautiful I, honestly when i say that i love embossing folders i adore embossing folders they just transform a simple piece of cardstock but you can transform it into something really theatrical dramatic inky whatever it is that you want to um, emboss and you can do it with your papers as well it doesn't necessarily have to be just a plain pa paper it can be patterned papers as well um so yeah just Never underestimate that power of a 3D folder. True. True that. True that. 
Uh, good morning, Terry H. Lovely Terry H. Says, good morning, Debbie Bell, and all oh, lovely people from a freezing cold Iowa. The folders are beautiful. Who's bought the showstopper? Who's gone for the just a collection? Who's gone showstopper and bonus buy bundle? Who's just gone for individuals? Let me know. Uh, Anna Marie says this collection will be great for cards for men. There you go again. Uh, Mr. Stout says I met, uh, may get a couple of these folders. My husband, like me, um, likes to fold up the paper he's written calligraphy on. When you unfold it, you have an emboss and deboss alongside each. Uh, Ness says, wow, Debbie, these look amazing cutting into the inbox. Great idea, right? And it just adds that next level, I think, to your project. Uh, Carol says, loving this one so far. The blue is interesting in the way that you're cutting it. Uh, Creative Blessing says, I love my MIDI because I can take it everywhere uh, and enjoy crafting, especially in front of the TV and craft alongs. Uh, Cindy says, love the idea, Debbie. Easy but impactful. Uh, Cindy, uh, sorry, Jeanette says, this is pretty and I love that blue. And Shadai has also seen the TV show that Debbie has watched and she can't remember the name of it <laughs> either. I'm glad I'm not the only one. Uh, thank you for all of your lovely comments coming through. We have got a whole nother hour to come, but in the meantime, make sure you get your goodies checked out because it is a super busy showstopper day. Welcome, if you have just joined us. We are halfway through our launch day. Uh, it's all part of National Craft Month, don't forget. We have got, what, ooh, just about two weeks left now of March. Loads of opportunities to be shopping, loads of reasons to shop. Once again this week, we are spoiling you with launches. Today's launch, of course, of the uh, bold geometric 3D embossing folders. Uh, well over 10% of the stock of the showstopper are now gone. Uh, you've also got your bonus buy bundle to contend with as well. I mean, first time we've ever done the gold shimmer ink pads on a bonus buy, and you're picking them up for next to nothing today if you get that showstopper. I'll explain all of that again in just a little while uh, and with it being national craft month we've got codes yes we've already covered off sewing and coloring and paper craft uh, this week we are covering off mixed media that's what nick just did in my ear mixed media ncm mixed media is your code uh, make sure you put in the two m's there don't get caught out so it's all block capitals ncm mixed media and you'll get 30% off selected mixed media items with that code. Best thing to do is check out the website. You'll see the designated section there for you. Um, but if you're not sure whether your item qualifies or not, then um, just whack it in at checkout. And if it works, it will work. Uh, we have got our brand new collection, though, as I said, proving very popular. Do go back and watch the first hour of the show because you've already missed two fantastic demos. Very impactful, uh, but very easy to follow, which is brilliant. So hopefully, if you're going away with this collection, you're now going, all right, I did have a few ideas, but now Debbie's given me lots of other ideas. I'm going to be making really um, quick fantastic looking cards in next to no time and that's the whole point of these shows of course is that you can pick up the deals um, but you can go away with loads and loads of ideas and if you are making cards uh, you'll be needing more cardstock uh, and we have got all of your luxury cardstock I mean this is a bundle like I've never seen before it's um yeah well yes it is a star buy and the, the way this kind of works out you, you, you buy, you're basically buying three and getting one set of your standard luxury cardstock for free, plus your metallics, which is worth twelve ninety nine or fourteen ninety five. That's the way that I kind of did it in my mind. But look, here's the saving: uh, thirty two pounds or forty eight dollars is the platinum price. So it's these bundles that we're talking about. The ones where we always go. There's thirty sheets in there, and then Craig will tell you, no, no, no. There's 30 and a bit, <laughs> 30 and a bat, because you get the extra little bit to the front there as well. Now, what I will tell you is I've just been informed in my ear that we only have how many? Huh. I'll be quick on this. We've got 18 chances left to buy, which means this is limited stock. There's green on the screen, which means... It so won't be seen. Okay. So you're going to get the luxury card stock in the gold. So you get 10 sheets of your non-shared glitter, 10 sheets of your gold, 10 sheets, sorry, 10 sheets of your mirror, 10 sheets of your matte mirror. Same again in the green. You're also going to get it in the, um, that's your ice blue, which you actually do get with your um, showstopper. You're getting your silver. You're also going to be getting your purple. And then you're getting your, well, 
you're getting this for free basically but this is the um, luxury cardstock precious metal slightly different here in the fact that in the, all the colors I'll flick through here you get 10 sheets of your glitter card 10 sheets of your matte mirror 10 sheets of your mirror but also 10 sheets of your adhesive glitter card as well it's the only bundle that we do the adhesive glitter card in which is marvelous but all of those colors you're going to get um, but you're going to have to be very very quick indeed because uh, there are now less than 18 chances to jump in and get this bundle uh, so quick as you can um 32 pounds 48 dollars for what is uh 150 190 sheets of some of the best card stock that we do 20 percent of the show stop has gone should we have a look at another demo with debbie or we're gonna have a look at <coughs> some finished cards so we're going to do the demo, I yes. think. Let's get on to it with Debbie. Well, I did mention in the earlier, you know, the earlier hour that we were going to use some gilding wax. There's some gilding wax in this showstopper deal, so I thought, let's get some gilding yeah. wax out. Um, and I do love gilding wax on an embossing folder, especially a 3D one. Um, it just brings your folders to life, and it adds, oh, just adds so much luxury to it as well. Now, I'm going to use the Retro Circles. Another one of my favourites here. Let me mm -hmm. just make sure I've got the right one there because uh, I've always got little bits in my folder. <clears throat> Tell you. I, I'm terrible. I won't throw anything away, that's why. So I did it first on some white. Looks amazing on white. Oh, I did see. it on a bit of black and I thought, oh, I can't throw any of that away either. So I'm thinking, no, I keep, keep, keep your bits together. You never know when you're going to need them. Now, again, because it's black all the way through, and when I say all the way through, through to the core, it mm. doesn't really matter which way around you put this. Just make sure it fits into your folder. Um, <clears throat> the reason I'm doing it bigger is because We'll be chopping into this as well. Uh, but I've always gone down that little bit of a quarter of an inch. I haven't got a lot hanging out either way because if you have it hanging out, you get a bit of wrinkling and it can it can spoil the rest of your design. So, same combination yet again, this time with the retro circles, cutting plate, magnetic shim, frosted plastic shim that goes on the top of that. And that is even if it's your original... Um, original Gemini, whether it's your Pro, whether it's your um, Junior, um, or whether it's your G2. It's, it's all the same. Um, obviously, apart from, of course, our fabulous... Um, oh, God. Um, do you know when I see it every Wiggly. time? It just looks oh, incredible. It really see. does. Yeah. But we are going to bring it to life. Look at that. Just look at that. Mm -hmm. It is so dimensional. You can <laughs> see there's no flatness to this at all. Is what are you looking at? anybody else looking at that and thinking, top of an Oreo? Oh, yes, I get you. you know I think? get you, yeah. In that colour? Yeah, I do get you, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm not, I mean, I wouldn't know what an Oreo looks like. You know, the Oreo biscuits, it's, it looks like that. It's round, and he has a look like the white cream in the middle, doesn't it? It looks like an Oreo. Do you really stand... Do you know, I'll tell you why I don't know what the top of an Oreo looks like. Uh. Because you get one of those... You just go... Straight in. <laughs> There's no <laughs> looking at the top of the biscuit. Let's just be straight in there. Um, or... <laughs> how do you eat your Oreo? I usually go biscuit base, top, off, yeah. and straight into teeth. I, and, Oh, like scrape that. The whole circle off, straight oh. into the mouth. Yeah. And then the cream, and then the bottom bit. That's exactly, yeah. Is that how you do yours? Uh, well, uh, yes, and how I eat custard creams as well. Take oh, the yeah, top bit top off, off. Eat that. Great. Scrape, scrape the cream. And then eat the last bit. How do you eat yours? Yeah. <laughs> that's what you do, though, isn't it? That's, the, that's what you... You went a little bit Annabel Lecter then. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <I'm sorry>. <laughs> <laughs> and a nice glass of Chianti. <laughs> um, sorry, back to you. Sorry, I'm, I, that was my fault. <laughs> right, back to our Oreo-looking uh, <laughs> dreadful circles there. Um, I'm going to take... Now, I've got a few colours here. So, the colour that you're going to get is that beautiful colour, which is the Renaissance Gold. Uh, but I've got a few of mine here, because I do love to add um, extra colour into this. So, again, with any of your gilding wax, um, and this is an oil-based gilding wax, not a, not a water-based one, mm. uh, get it oh, on your finger, wow. and literally you'll start to see it just pop um, over the top of your um, lovely design, and it really does add dimension to it. And just brings the whole embossing folder to life. Although I'm not going to lie, I do like a bit of plain. You know, the light white on white, black on black. I do like that as well with mm -hmm. your plain colours. I'm just going to go in and start adding and building up a bit of colour. So I dab off, in my, I use my middle finger um, 
and dab off excess yeah. just onto the to the glass mat yeah. and then just take it and add it in over the top. Uh, Christy Mahoney says, I dunk my Oreo in milk. Yum. You um, dunk it in milk? Milk, apparently, yeah. Uh, I've heard of dunking it in tea. There's so many different beautiful flavours that went there with Oreos. Oh, I know. I do love it. I do love an Oreo, I'm not going to lie. Um, should I says, you demery my fave, love a gilding wax. And Rosalind says, I was thinking about the gilding wax during the last demo. Gives it a bit of a vintage look. It does. And when you add more than one colour to it, so there's like, we all know, oh, well, for those that don't know, actually, there is one silver in the collection and four um, golds. And I yeah. think the other gold, because I didn't use all of them this time, I did keep one out, which was the Empire gold. But the Renaissance is the one that you're going to get in your showstopper, which is that gorgeous, rich, coppery gold. Yeah. Um, and then I just like to add uh, a little bit to where you get a bit of a mix going through there and it mm. adds a real a real vintagey look. Just a question on the gilding wax as well and this is one that comes up now and again and um, Rosalind is just saying any tips on restoring dried out gilding wax or should you just chuck it in the trash? Dried out gilding wax? I've never had a pot dry out on me. Maybe the, maybe the top wasn't screwed on properly. Not top or... not screwed on properly. And there is like a little cap as well yeah. that sits over the top of it. Um, I would probably, because it's oil-based, it's not water-based. So water, I would say, add a drop of water. If it's a water-based one you're using. But if it's a Pebio gilding wax, an oil-based one, I'm not going to... I've never I've never had that problem, Ben. I've never had it dry out on me. I'd probably stick it on something warm. To try and oh, put it on the radiator. Because of the, do you know, because of the oil that's mixed into there. Yeah. I would probably try that. Sheena would probably be the best bet to ask. Okay. I, but I've never had a pot in hand on my. Where's my art? Somewhere around there. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot where my art is. It is in there. Yes, Jamie. It's a big one. Um, it's a big art. Uh, oh, there bless you. It's de definitely it's there. big. It's all over. <laughs> definitely big. Hand on my heart, I've never had a pot of gilding wax dry out on me. Right. And I have two sets. I've got one from home, and I have one that I have in the back of the car that sits in me little... Because I have, like, a, a little craft kit that sits in the back of my car. And I've never had one dry out on me yet. So I'm not sure if that's just down to the fact that um, your top's been left off. You've left right. your top off. Um but make sure you screw that top back on there. Mm. Um, yeah, I've never had that happen, so I'll probably stick that on a radiator somewhere or... OK. Yeah, I'm not really sure. She, Sheena's in the, is Sheena in this week? Thursday. I would ask Sheena. Yeah. Because Sheena's the one Thursday. that introduced me into Pebio Gilding Wax, and I love her for it because mm. I absolutely adore. And these pots last you a very, 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 very long time. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, try the warm, warm first, but I would, um, I would definitely ask our lovely Sheena. Um, yeah, definitely ask her because uh, she may have experienced that. But in my lifetime of using, and I've been using Gilding Wax now for about six, seven years, possibly longer, um, I've never had a pot dry on me yet. OK. Um, yeah, so sorry I couldn't be more specific. Um, I think it's just because I've never had it happen to me. Yeah. Right, I'm just trying to get rid of it because I know what I'm like. I get messy when it comes to gilding waxes, so I'm just going to dry that off. Um, I'm also going to now, because I have got, obviously, there's wax on the top of there, but there'll be all the excess wax. I usually use a cloth, but for some reason, my rag's dropped out of my bag. A bit like the slippers dropping out of my car. Was that underneath my car there, Ben? Uh, because I don't, I don't know I've where... I've in a minute, shall I? I don't... <laughs> Where, me, where it's gone mm. but what you'll see is it takes off the excess so I'm just going to use a bit of tissue paper yeah. uh, to buff it but I do find buffing up with a cloth yes. buffing up with a cloth buffing up with a cloth is better um, um, but that's just my personal opinion Cindy just says I've never mixed my gilding wax colours before what am I like? But look, I know. when you do, it's incredible. Um, it looks absolutely beautiful. And look at that sheen. Can we do the front angle one as well? It sort of gives it even more of an aged vintage look, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, when you add more than just one or yeah. two. or And I know you are getting the pot of Renaissance gold in that showstopper yeah. deal, which these are about £13, these bottles. Right, yeah, they They're are about now. £13. Mm. That's a great, great deal mm. in that in that showstopper. Uh, but they just look absolutely beautiful when you do mix, mix them up. Uh, now, I have... I have made myself a box. Now okay. I've got a box base. I'll have to try and remember because I was engrossed in my uh, yeah, I thought it were 10 by 8, and I've scored at uh, an inch and a half around all four sides on my base. Let me see if I put my B on. I always put my B on my bit. <laughs> 
Be on your base. Base. Holly said bottom then. <laughs> be on my bottom. <laughs> be, 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 be on the bottom. And an L on the lid because I'm going to decorate my lid first. Yeah. So this is 10 by 8, an inch and a half in on all four sides around the lid side and the same on the black cardstock on the base side. Uh, you just flip over onto your thing. But I know we've done lots of tutorials before with that. Yeah. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little bit of matting and layering. Now, I've already chopped this one down to size, the one that I did at home. I think I went a little bit ATT over. To, oh, I mean, I say added lots into there. Look at that shine on that no. one. Um, but yeah, absolutely beautiful. I'm not going to gut out the uh, cardstock on here because I do want a bit of rigidity into my box. Um, now, that is from your... Uh, do you know your card bundle that you had yeah, on, funnily Florida enough? Higgins. Yeah, it's from the... Is it Precious Metals? Oh, sorry, from the... Uh, Precious the Gold? Precious yeah. Metals, yeah. Yeah, that's where I got this from. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, that's... Uh... You have to be quick if you want that, though, because I think we've... Um, what did we have? 18, less than 18, so you're going to have to be quick if you want that. That um, was a, a good... Um, I'm, I'm glad I did it now, because I didn't know that were on... I didn't know that was on the show. Uh, yeah. uh, Kim says, I used a gilding wax on my embossing folders. It's created a lot of happy accents for me when it comes to covering mistakes or bad colour combos. Uh, and Rhonda, thank you for your comment, which says, I use my middle finger too, but not always for gilding wax. <laughs> I'm not sure what that means. <laughs> <laughs> that has made my day, that yes. comment. <laughs> yes, Rhonda. <laughs> we know what you're talking about. We know what you mean, yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> um, Ros <laughs> Rosalind uh, says, I have an old shoe shine brush that works great for shining gilding wax. Oh, I like that, yeah. yeah. Hey, that's a good idea. You could use just your, um, I know you use tissue, but if you've got those, um, oh, what are those cloths called? The, oh. That is my cloth. Your microfiber cloth. Microfiber, yeah. Yeah, that's, the, that's my cloth that's missing. So if you see a bright orange one. Yeah. I've got two. I've got one in my handbag, but that's my glasses. I've got an orange one that I have, it's dirty. Ah. You'll see it's absolutely filthy. They're brilliant, um, those cloths for all sorts. You what, love? They're brilliant for all sorts. Oh, they are, the absolutely. Cloth, they? Yeah. Brilliant in crafting. Yeah. I've got my Obby Maker ones that I bought when Obby Maker did some, just so I could have the Obby Maker logo as well. Yeah. <clears throat> now, that's the main base that you saw me just do. But I did this, tw I think it was twice I did, or oh, three, might have been two, two or three, um, and then just chopped down into the measurements. So this is seven inches by five inches. So all I've done is matted and layered up, and I didn't think it needed anything else other than two layers this time, uh, because the black complements the black cardstock that we've used, and the uh, coppery bronze look complements all of the colours that are in the uh, fabulous uh, gilding waxes as well. So again, I'm just going to add a little bit bit of glue on and I'm decorating it while it's laid flat um, on my lid and Debbie you better have got your lid out now and not done your bottom hang on a minute well at least if not you'll have a I'm, I'm nervous myself now you'll because have a I nice decorated bottom won't you <laughs> it's fine It'll be fine. I'm sure I checked it didn't I? Yeah lid there we go. Whew. I did write it on there. This looks stunning, says Jeanette Shirley. It does, doesn't it? And isn't it great? I love these demos because you show us loads of different ways and, you know, you might get stuck in the rut of making cards the whole time, but as you've seen here, perfect for decorating your, your box lids as well. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So I'm just making sure all of those pieces are struck down. Um, I'll come to decorating the top of it when it's all put together, but what I'm just going to do now is um, attach my box lid. Mm -hmm. And I'm just popping some of our uh, super strong um, double-sided tape onto yeah. there. And then let's just attach and put our box together now. The way that this box looks, it looks like it needs to house something very special inside. It needs to be a nice gift in there, I think. Oh, absolutely. What shall we put in it, Ben? What would you put in your box? Uh, Oreos, that's a good one. Uh, we well, could buy those little mini packets that you could put in. What, little mini Oreos? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know they did mini ones. Yeah, the, I've, I've bought some for kids before, little mini ones. Mm. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think what I've got in my bag that I could put in there today. Eggs. <laughs> <laughs> Have you got eggs today? Three eggs. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Jake, Jake, Jake's on the old uh, egg 
brigade as well now. So is he on the egg brigade too? Yeah, I'm so having an egg actually in me, oh, yeah, uh, yeah. on my spud. Not on my spud, at the side of my spud with my salad. Oh, OK. I'm obsessed well, with my spuds Let's minute. all eat together in the green room uh, in the break and we'll stink it out. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Love an egg. Bit of salt on top. Oh, I've got to have a bit of salt on top, haven't yeah. you? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, Carol just said, Debbie, you're so clever because this is stunning and Creative Blessing says, this bronze is a nice change from the silver or gold. What a perfect choice, Debbie. Yeah, on honestly, you'll find whenever I use gilding waxes, you'll probably notice that I do use more than one colour. Um, um, I love them, but I do like the fact um, of having... Do you know what? I'm thinking I might... I'm going to layer it. Oh, now then, not? I think I just need to... Oh, yeah. I don't need to trim it at all. Perfect. Let's get that in there. Um, so I'm going to just add my inside bottom um, with this panel. Yeah. Why not? Why not, indeed? Why not? Let's get glue slack. Now, I will tell you, because it's 3D, make sure when you are put... You know, I normally tell you, don't be generous with glue. Um, I'm letting you off with the 3D embossing folder. You need to be generous, because it needs to get in all those grooves, those deep ah, grooves. OK. Um, so do be generous with your glue when you're popping this in. And let's just pop that down and have the inside looking just as nice as the outside. Oh, I do. I'm glad I did that now. It's marvellous, that. Look at that. And then Very popping posh. that on. But, of course, we need to, um, you know, it needs, needs to be given to someone, this. So, so what are we going to do with this one? Well, I'll show you. I use some of my nesting dies, uh, my stitch nesting circles. Um, now, <clears throat> I actually cut this out as a circle first then run it through the embossing folder and then added the gilding wax onto the top and I use the same colours. Now, the reason you don't put it through your... <laughs> if you were to emboss it and then run it through your die cutting machine, you'll squash. It'll squash, squash all the 3D the out of it. Um, so don't... Yeah, don't have a squashed Oreo, as our Jamie's just whispered in me here. We don't want that, do we? No, we don't want that. I'm going to add a bit of dimension, though, to this um, inner circle. OK. And let's just take off. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> and again, I'm just going to pop that into there. And then that's going to sit now. I'm just debating. Do I have it where it matches? So let's have a little look. Because you could do that. Ooh, oh, now. I'm trying to, yeah, I'm, uh, trying, I'm trying to get this where uh, it kind of... If you, oh, this, this is this there. is like the golden shot. Is yeah, that there. Oh no. No. I didn't put it my glue underneath. Oh, it no. needs to go right a little bit, anyway. Oh, well, I tell you what, then we'll do it with this glue. Okay. Gives me wiggle time. It will dry like cement. Yeah. So what did you say? It needed to go a little bit right, I think, of where it was. Well, I'm looking at this. I'm looking at. Oh, I'm looking at I, the top. I think that. And it will look a little bit weird over Red Ben, only because... Um, and, and don't forget, I've got another um, uh, bit, bit underneath. Yeah. But if I leave that there, I'm, I'm happy with that. I've got a little special friend that's going to go across there. I've got a little friend who um, I think I might fill this with chocolates because she's going through a pretty difficult time at the minute. And I think this Aww. might be just suitable for her. Um, now, don't mm. shoot me down, will you? Then what? Um, I just cut some butterflies out. Oh, well, come on. I mean, it's not I a Debbie know, make, is it I not? If it's not? I don't know where they came from. Um, they just flew in. Um, I know don't... where they're from, don't I? No. Oh. Oh, sorry. I've just twigged. Have you just I, twigged? I thought um, the one that you're gluing now looked, um, looked familiar, but no. No. I, no, I don't know where these you don't... are from. <laughs> Thank you, Ben. Thank these you. These are not the butterflies you were thinking of. No. 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 These could be butterflies that... Um... Might just be fluttervying <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> I love a butterfly. I love a butterfly. And um, when I say I love a butterfly, uh, that's got detail to it. Um, mm. And every single one of them different. Um, there's a few on there as well. Uh, it just pleases me. And I'm just... Do you know what? I'm even more pleased that our books to come up here when they were launching. Cos, I mean, come on, it's got to be a Debbie. It's got to be a Debbie one, this gotta one, hasn't it? Got to be. Yeah, that's tomorrow. Launch party tomorrow. Exactly. Live at five. Live at five. Live at five. I love the live at five. There you go. 
So we have now used an embossing folder to create um, a very beautiful uh, decorative box. Um, and you could go really decorative, uh, but seriously, um, don't look at an embossing folder and think it's just a one trick pony, because it is not. There is so much you can do with it, so many different kind of colorants and variants that you can use, from your gilding wax to your inks to literally just any cardstock or paper um, that you want to use as well. But mm -hmm. what it does is gives it depth and dimension, and that 3D really does scream out on there, especially when we add that gilding wax to it. Um, so for one, I'm definitely thinking chocolates are going to go in here for uh, yeah. maybe some Oreos. Yeah, I might, or I might do that as well. Egg. No. No. Unless it's a chocolate Cadbury's cream egg. Oh. I could get a fair few in there. Or mini eggs. Ooh. Love a mini egg. Oh, I love I, a mini egg. I nearly bought a massive bag of them from our shop yesterday. I went to go and get some actual eggs and milk, and I thought they did these like massive bags of mini eggs. I'm not fussed about chocolate. If you dangle some mini eggs in my face, though, oh, I could eat the whole oh. bag. Do you do you crunch them straight away or do you suck them? Because I suck them till the no. hard shell melts and then the chocolate melts down the back of the no. throat. Crunch. You crunch. Get no. right in there for the crunch. No, me and Jamie are on the same page. Mm. You pop it in your mouth, you suck all off that lovely um, flavour, thank you, flavour of the hard shell, mm. then let that hard shell dissolve and then all the chocolate. <sighs> why, did you, why have you got me talking about chocolate? <sighs> Seriously. What a fabulous masculine box, says Cindy Conley. I agree. Uh, Teresa says, I love the box. You could always send it to me if you like, Teresa. What do you want in it, Teresa? Chocolate or eggs? Let me know. Uh, Jen says, absolutely stunning. I love the steampunkish look. Yeah, it did have a bit Ooh, of a yeah, yeah. steampunky like vibe to it. Um, Crazy Blessing says, that's unique, Debbie. I love that uh, for an embellishment. I'm a butterfly girl, so that's even better. Yeah, make sure you join us tomorrow. Launch party. Uh, and Crazy Blessing says, a great finishing touch to your bottom, Debbie. <laughs> yeah, dear. yeah, I forgot I decorated my bottom. I have, aren't I? Yeah, of course I did. Of course you did, Debbie. Yeah, thank you. I like that. It's the nicest bottom I've ever seen. Oh. Um, Jeanette says it looks very expensive, doesn't it look expensive? Uh, and Pat says, Debbie, you are so inspiring. Lynn's given in and got the showstopper and the bonus buy. I'll take you through all the workings in just a second, but hopefully you know by now. Showstopper, bonus buy is your um, gold shimmer ink pads. You get them at a ridiculous price. If you're platinum and you get them with the showstopper today, £18 or $28 is incredible. We've got the luxury card stuck as well, which is hanging on by a thread. So whatever you've got in your baskets now, get checked out we'll come back i'll take you all around everything and um, i guess we'll be kind of up to final demo time because it is that sort of time of the show uh, so get checked out and whilst you're doing that let's find out more about sheena my dad was a printer which was the old you know the old letter set printer the the, the type the old printer's type. So he used to bring home offcuts of card. And so I always had paper and card around me from as long as I can remember. He would donate bits of offcuts to the school I went to. And so it was always accessible. Um, my mum and dad bought me colouring products, art products, and you know, good quality art products, like adult quality art products. So I found I could draw from a really early age. So really between that and crafting, it's just been punctuating it all through my life. I think you can get inspiration from anywhere. Um, it's hard, there's never one source. It's from anywhere, it's from, it could be a crafting person, it could be a non-crafting person. It inspires me in different aspects, you know? It could be um, art, art, inspiration from artists, inspiration from crafters, or inspiration on just inspiring people. It's all about the viewers. It, if it wasn't for the viewers, then there is no purpose in what? Oh yeah, what am I doing it for? It's not about me, what I can do, it's about what I can inspire the viewers to do. And if I'm not inspiring them, then I'm not doing my job. So it's all about the viewers and it's all and keeping them um, interested, um, uh, fired up to give things new things a try. And mostly any blocks, anything that holds someone back is more confidence than ability. That's what I found. So if I can inspire people and give them that little bit of confidence to give them the nudge, fantastic. 
think the biggest achievement is keep doing what I'm doing for so long. Now, I remember, you know, when I first started, um, you know, when everything's new, um, it, can, it can just, you know, maybe the, um, the enthusiasm and the love for what you do might, might wane, but it hasn't. You know, here I am, as I said, 18 years further down the line, professionally crafting, and I think that's my greatest achievement, is that I'm still loving it, doing it, enjoying it, and the feedback's been incredible from you know, from the crafters, and that's what I'm doing it for. So that, I think, is my greatest achievement and the feedback I'm still getting. Not many people know this, but I'm gonna share this now, is when I lived in America and I was 19, my eyelashes turned white. So this is still my hair color. Oh, I'm getting on a bit now, but it's still my natural hair color, dark hair color, white eyelashes. I look like, um, you know, the John Wyndham, um, you know, the, the Midwich Cuckoos. I look like one of those little alien people with me if I don't wear mascara. Underneath this, lily white eyelashes, go figure. I did worry for a while I was gonna turn white, you know, front emanate now from my eyes, which would have looked very strange to try and disguise for a bit. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend and the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Quarter of the showstopper stock's gone, so uh, you need to be getting your skates on. I'm not surprised as well, because there's been so many great demos, and it's a great deal too. Don't forget, you're gonna get all of your brand new 3D bold geometric embossing folders. Like I said, if you wanna go for the collection on its own, you can. If you wanna go for the individuals, again, you can, but the majority of people are going for the showstopper. Um, here are all of the designs that you are going to be getting your hands on when you jump in and grab the showstopper, or indeed if you just go for the collection on its own, you will get all of these designs too. 3D of course, so you're getting that beautiful kind of uh, real depth of detail in all of the designs here. And as we've seen already, they are fantastic for creating um, quick but really elegant looking um, projects and we've seen lots of colors being used with these seeing the gilding wax being used with these seeing these being used on card projects and also of course as we've just seen for decorating boxes you're going to see in just a few moments time actually um, these being incorporated with your bonus buy today as well but there are some stunning designs I think that one is my favorite absolutely gorgeous looks like that sort of pinwheel design but all of those brand new embossing folders with the showstopper, which brings you all of the other extra goodies, so it's basically uh, 51 pounds or 69 dollars worth of extra stuff uh, for 15 pounds or 20. $5. So you get your 30 sheets of the Ice Blue Luxury card stock, glitter card, mirror card, matte mirror card. You're going to get 60 sheets of our card, which is the multi-purpose card. You've got the Floral Elegance 12 by 12. So that is beautiful mirror card and matte mirror card in all of those elegant um, colors. And then you've also got your uh, Pebeo Gilding Wax in there too. As I say, if you were to put all of those items into your basket individually, it would be over £51, $69. The price for everything is £48 or $76 if you're a Platinum member, which is crazy value. And then when you consider once you've done that, you can then go, oh, I have a cheeky little bonus buy, please. Little bonus buy. And what is the bonus buy today? Never done it before as a bonus buy. The Gold Shimmer Ink Pad eight-piece collection, um, which I know Debbie is going to be incorporating in her next and I think probably final demo. Can you believe this, right? So all of these fantastic colors, these um, pearlescent pigment ink pads, again, so you can do all of your, uh, your blending techniques, you can do um, all of your heat embossing, but look at that beautiful gold coming through this time. Um, and you get all eight of these 
for, well, not 45, listen, if you want to get these on their own, they'll be 45 pounds or $70, which is the usual price, which is amazing. And then you'd still get your discount. However, if you put these into your basket with your showstopper, that 45 or 70 becomes 22, 50 or 35. But then of course, you're going to get your discount on top of that. If you're a platinum member, you will only pay 18 pounds or 28 dollars which is just ridiculous um so if you're going for the showstopper today you would be a fool to leave this behind because i can't think of another occasion where we've offered these to you at that price um so a it's a good way to try these out for a fraction of the cost or b if you've already got them what an opportunity to stock up and grab all eight of these for an absolute nonsense price but you've only got the opportunity to do that whilst we have the showstopper in stock uh, and over a quarter of that stock has gone uh, cindy's in cindy redmond saying running late but cannot wait to get my day started with the ctv team <laughs> uh alicia has joined us and says greetings from arkan uh lorraine brown says lovely embossing folders and Laura says, these demos have made me buy them all. Well, if you are still sat on the fence, maybe this final demo with Debbie will get you off the fence because she's about to go all shimmery. I am. Love a bit of shimmer. I was actually thinking, though, do you know how I look at that showstopper deal, mm. let alone that <clears throat> amazing bonus buy? I take off the price of the cardstock, the price of the, the you know, that... Um, um, that pad, I take off the price of the Pebio. I'd be looking at it like this because that price on the screen, I think it's an amazing price. But if you take off all of those things, what does that actually make? Those embossy folders for six? For all of them, yeah. You are joking. Or $26. You are absolutely pulling my leg. Does this look like a face? It's joking. Well. Well, I've no words because, yeah, I know you. I know what you like. <laughs> I like. know what you like. <laughs> and seriously, you are a, a joker and a half. <laughs> You're always joking around. That's a good way to think of it, though. I never really thought I, of it that, that way. But that's how I look at yeah. things. Like, that's how I would look at it. That pad itself, is that about £15? Uh, Maybe more? Well, I can tell you. The pad itself is, uh, yeah, £12.99. No, wrong. No, talking rubbish. Fifteen ninety nine, nineteen ninety nine, twenty one ninety five dollars. Oh, we said the gilding wax is thirteen pounds. Yeah, seventeen dollars. Multi purpose card, thirteen pounds, fifteen dollars, and wow. then the luxury card stock, ten pounds, sixteen dollars. That is nuts. Mm. You take that off that price, that brings you up. Oh my days. Value for money is off the chart. Uh, the bomb dot com. It, but the, exactly what you said. The bomb dot com. Yeah. Now when you put these down, now I can tell we use these a lot. It doesn't matter. Honestly, don't worry. You can take them directly onto your cardstock. You'll get a more of a, a shimmering effect. But you can still blend with them as well. Yeah. Um, so you can still take your blending. So you see what I've just done with that and created all that colour. Now I'm, again, I'm not going to worry about all it because you will get messy with inks. But it's absolutely fine. Um, I'm just going to go in though and just add some more of the colours together. Oh. Ooh. Oh my wow. goodness me, that is juicy. Do you know what you can also see as well is that gorgeous gold shimmering. I don't know how we've done it, and I never ever question how. I just look at it and think, I cannot believe we can create that lovely shimmering mm. effect so quickly and so easily in a pad. Oh, look at me, I'm getting fingerprints everywhere now, but hey ho, it's absolutely fine. Um, let's come in and add a little bit more. Add a little bit more onto here as well. Try and try and get rid of all my marks that I've left behind because <laughs> I'm such a mucky pup. Um, oh, the green is stunning as well. Absolutely beautiful. Again, if you want to go directly on with that ink pad, go directly on with that ink pad. Uh, but you can blend them with your finger daubers, with your um, square or circle daubers. Yeah. But I'm just adding colour. I'm not worrying too much how it looks at the minute because, we, of course, we're going to be embossing it in a second. Um, and just looks, look at me. <laughs> oh my goodness me. I am so okay. I get it everywhere. However, I just love okay, they're coming with that one into And I that know center. you're using the um the ink pads now, but just kind of rewinding ever so slightly. Robin's asking about the um the feeling of gilding wax. Does it have a does it feel greasy? She asks. 
It's, it's, it's wet, it's soft, yeah. it's, uh, it's like moussey. Moussey, isn't it? Yeah, um, but a thick mousse. Yeah. Let me put your ink pad on the right one. Mm. Um, yeah, it's, but it's, it's really lovely. It's very, it's, it's wet to touch. With a, can I just explain, like, the difference between the two? A water-based one is dry, it's, it's very dry, it's... Um, it does go on, but not the same way as uh, the oil-based one does. I prefer oil-based um, waxes. That's just my preference. Um, I wish, I keep saying, I would have loved it if they'd have fetched out a array of colours. Um, but, of course, that's not what Pebio Gilding Wax was all about when we first, you know, when they first brought... Well, when Sheena brought them into the world of craft for us. Because um, it's a French company. Yeah. And a Marseille. French company. Exactly. And it... It, um, I'm just see if I'm, I'm plugged in. Yeah, I'm turned on. There we go. Uh, yeah. Heat tool. Mm -hmm. I love these ink pads, can I just tell you as well? Mm. Talk about that, because we're going to be using the gilding wax. I'm going to be using the Renaissance this time, but just the one colour over the top. So you've seen me use multiple colours, but we are going to use that one as well. Um, but yes, if anybody wants to ask me the difference between the two, I always prefer the oil-based one. And, but it is a wet touch, and you'll see that in a second. Yeah. You can add water to this. You can still do the full bleaching. I'm not going to do it on this occasion. I'm just drying it off before I put it through my embossing folder. And the only reason being is it's a juicy ink pad. It also enables you to um, add um, clear embossing powder because it's wet. It stays wetter for longer. It doesn't dry instantly. Um, so I'm just forcing that drying stage just by running my heat tool over the top of it because it will transfer over into your um, embossing folder. Now, before I get going, I'm going to clean up. Yeah. Because uh, otherwise, I'm going to end up in a very sticky mess. And just whilst you're cleaning, again, and you've sort of, sort of half touched on this, but um, Creative Blessings is asking about the shimmer ink pads. Um, can you water spray them for another effect? Water spray? Yeah. As in over the top of that? Mm. Yeah. 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 Yeah, you can, yeah. Now, I've dried mine. So I would have done that while it was wet. Yes. I wouldn't do it while it was dry. No. Um, and that's just, that's, again, um, you'll find it will be very difficult to get those same kind of effects uh, that you would get, like, with a water-based one or a water-reactive one. Yeah. Uh, but they still will, they, you still can do that. Oh, every time I look at it, though, look at that. Look it's at that. Just Stunning. Look at that gold mm. running through there. And again, just created a bit of an inky background. Yeah. Now, I'm going to trim this down to size. So okay. I'm going to cut this down to... Um, now, 5x7 is the size of that folder. But I'm going to come down um, an inch in and a little bit... You know, I've got my little one here, so I'm going to hazard six, six and okay. a half. So Lynn's just about. bought... There's the bonus buyers tip the scales for me. That's Lynn Bledsoe. I'm not surprised. They're beautiful, um, honestly, they're beautiful. And Cindy says, I've got to do it. I love the shimmer pad so much. Good time to stock up. Here I go, says Cindy. She's off to the checkout. <laughs> um, just incredible. They are indeed. Now, again, my logo's on this bottom piece. I want it to come through the, the that beautiful shimmering gold. So I'm going to run that now with that facing upwards. So where the logo isn't... That's the bit that's going to give you that 3D embossing. Yeah. Um, and we'll run that through. Now, I'm using the classic diamonds for this one. But it's exactly the same combination that I've been running through all that time. And again, do you know the lovely thing about this one? And I'll show you with what I've done. Um, you can use the deboss or the emboss side. Both look beautiful. Uh, and that's on all of them. They look lovely on all of them. <sighs> My word. It's just delicious. Now, let me just show you. Clearly not completely dry. So just make sure when you are coming, make sure that that's nice and clean. Yeah. So give that a nice little wash. Mm -hmm. But look at that. Oh, my days. Look Juicy. at the shimmery look at the gold as well coming through. It is gorgeous. Look how Gordon Bennett, that's gorgeous. Gordon Bennett. I don't know who Gordon Bennett is. I don't know where that saying's come from either. Who is Gordon Bennett? That's I always say Gordon Bennett. Do you? Uh, I know the expression. I think it's more of a northern thing. Is it really? Yeah, it's a northern it thing. So Gordon you don't you, you don't use that then. Uh, I've got the Gordon Bennett saying. Let's have a look. Yeah. Now I'm adding a bit of the Renaissance over the top. I find it's the it's the the right gold ah. that matches that shimmering really really lovely. So again, I'm just going over the top. So it's not only got the shimmering effect. It's now going to have over the top of that some gilding wax as well. Mix your mediums. Gordon Bennett, right? Yeah. Is a medal for bravery, the highest honour a fireman could receive. 
Really? Created by the fire department in New York, a New York fireman used to say Gordon Bennett as a shock expletive when something was surprisingly good. As in, that was so good it should win the Gordon Bennett. Oh, wow! I never... I never knew that! Hey? That's amazing. I've just lost my wet rag. Just bear oh. with me. So it's, um, not, it's not a northern thing at all. It's from it's America. It's not a northern thing. It's an American thing from a fire. Yeah. A f oh, wow! Mm -hmm. Wow. We learn something new here every day, don't we, eh? You do indeed. Yeah. You do indeed. It, I love... I've told you that my uh, daughter's partner is training to be a fireman at the moment. I've told you that, aren't I? I don't think you have. So Ezra's... Uh, just yeah. Have Ezra's daddy, oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah, he's training to be uh, a fireman. He's in his tenth week. He's Good got two dear. more to go. 12 weeks to train, is it? Is it 12 weeks or is it 14? Hang on a minute. It's been going on since the beginning of January. I guess you've got to be... Uh, pretty... He's passing out days the 12th of April because I've took the day off. I've had to book an holiday because um, <sighs> my grandchildren are amazing. Safi would be a good girl. Little pocket rocket, oh, no. No. It'd be all over the place. Really? So I've offered to babysit for the day. I'm going to take him out Sliding for the day. Sliding down the fireman's pole, probably. Or like he would literally... He'd be, he, his poor daddy, I just, I know for a fact, he wouldn't get to enjoy his passing out because it would be all over the place. <laughs> Now, again, look how lovely that looks yeah. when you add that little bit of gilding wax over Wowie. the top. So I know you think it probably looks a little bit patchy overhead, but it really doesn't. It looks absolutely stunning. And it really does add that elegant part to it as well. Now, I'm going to just trim this down again because I've obviously made it just a tad bigger. But we're going to just have a little play around with it. So I'm going to trim it down to about four and a half inches. There we go. Can't believe that. I'm going to remember that saying now. I'll never forget that now. Now, we're going to play around. We're going to have a little triptych card. So we're okay. going to come in, uh, because I know it's one and it's, it's four, four and a half. I can go yeah. at one and a half inches. One and a half, one and a half, one and a half. Exactly, to create that lovely triptych effect. Yeah. And then all I'm going to do is... Now, I would at this point... You can have a little play around, but I've added a little bit of gold, because there's a lot of gold in there. I thought gold really worked ever so well with that. But again, um, we're just going to have a little play around with that. But I've already done mine, Ben. And I've got mine here. Ever prepared. Ever prepared. I've already Ooh. popped mine onto... And I've already done some mats and layers um, onto a... Um, piece of craft card yeah it actually measures in at uh, six by eight again and again this time again go this way go that way it doesn't really matter um i've done a bit of gold card with the craft card over the top you can tell i weren't concentrating yesterday i have done no gutting out whatsoever <laughs> of my cards you're too I busy am, watching that show it, that nobody knows the name honestly of. it's not like me at all i tell you now when i say that i don't waste a bit of cardstock i do not waste a bit of cardstock um, unless you're watching a show and you're getting engrossed. The show with no name. I will find that name because it's, right, it's going to drive me mad. Oh! <gasps> Did you hear that? I'm here. Hear what? I heard. Did you I hear what I heard? Did I you heard hear what I heard? I heard nothing. No, I did hear that. I did hear that. You did. We've, uh, we've got a winner. Yay! Are, we, are, we doing it, are we doing it in a bit? We're doing it a bit. Yeah, a bit winner of dramatic in the mystery bag. What's in the mystery bag? No. <laughs> Now, you're probably thinking, well, Debbie, you've made that a bit short, haven't you? That yeah. looks a bit dumb. What are you like? You've not um, measured that right at all. <laughs> but no. Too busy well, watching actually, that show. Me, I'm just going to make sure I've got my triptych bit, though, right? right. Because, uh, because it's been in my bag, I could have mixed this up because that doesn't look right and I want the pattern to fall right. I think it could be. Do you think it could be this way, Jamie? Oh, look at that. That's better. You sure? Yes, I'm sure. I was thinking how I did my pattern. And I was thinking it didn't look right, and these didn't match. You know, little little when you're doing it, so it, it didn't quite match. However, I did do another little one, oh. but I did the D bus side, Ooh. so the triangle diamond triangle di di diamonds. Diamonds. The diamonds aren't raised; they're sunken in. Ah, okay. Sunken. Sunken. Sunk. Sunk in. Sunk. Sunk in. Sunk. Sunk. Sunken. Thank you. <laughs> They're sunken down. They're down. They are indeed, because that's yeah. going to sit at the bottom there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not daft. Uh, right, now, we're going to just pop this down, so I'm going to do one at a time. Um, again, the gold is just a little bit fraction bigger than one and a half by the uh, six and a half. Um, because I did trim that down to six and a half as well. And I'm just going to kind of frame it, but I'm going to do it like 
leave that one out for a second just because you'll get a better framing when you do it this way and as well use your wet glue to do it yeah. it gives you that wiggle time to get it positioned into place without stressing about it so that when you pop that in you can get the right angles and i can push those in so that i get that there we go yeah and then just pop that one in oh back you go do you know what song i've got in my head now looking at this yeah karma what? chameleon karma what karma chameleon because it's sort of red gold and green isn't it <laughs> isn't it a little bit yeah, I do get that now. Red, gold, and green. green. Yeah, red, gold, and green. green. Yeah. Love it would be easy if your colours were like my dreams. I forgot the rest of the words, and red I know that song off by heart normally. <laughs> 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 now, I think I might raise this. Yeah, I think I'm going to raise that. So I'm going to pop in some foam pads. Yep. Got plenty of time, aren't I? Yeah. Now, I was thinking, I was going to do some, I was going to do a vellum. I was going to emboss Ooh. with some vellum. I was also going to emboss with some um, uh, acetate, because I love that as well. When you emboss on vellum, especially if you're using a white vellum, it almost looks like you've done a little bit of, um, um, what's the word? Uh, mm, the white what? line effect. Oh, the... Um, oh, my days. Um, Pot, yeah, parchment. it's parchment craft, but what do they call it? Uh, oh, my dog. Oh, they call days. it parchment, don't they? Is it, is it just parchment or is it? <coughs> yeah, I think so. Oh, do you know I do it as well? It's not like I don't do it. No, it oh, isn't, is it? It's called, um, no, it's, not, it's got a name. Else. I know what you mean. It's called, um... I, I'm telling you, I don't know what is wrong with me of lately, but trying to retain information, oh. names of things, it's the white line, it's the parchment. It's, called, it's like, because um, I, it, I use a different system. I use a, what's the, is it, it's par called, is it parchment look? You're looking now, aren't you? No. I can see you. I'm not. I can see you. I'm not. Um... Is someone screaming out in the comments? Because... Is it called white, just white work? What? No, it's not just white work, but it's... Have we done it? Have we said it right? Hmm. Oh, um... No, no, that's not right. <laughs> I'm debating where to put my uh, sentiments, so I think I'm going to... Might come about there. In fact, I'm going to go around there, that's it. And I've just used the same colours on my sentiment and then created a little bit of a, a tail um, using this. But again, I've got to add a bit of flower, a bit, bit of florals. So I've just done it in um, using the floral creations again. It is just parchment. It is just parchment. Yeah, there's a Why brand, on there's earth another, we there's another to brand it? isn't there, who, that, which I think people talk about, which begins with a P. Yes, there's the, the, there's the G. The G? Groovy. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, groovy. Ah. That one. Yeah. And there's also the one which rhymes with. <laughs> with what? Schmurganano. Uh, but there? that's part of. Yeah. Me. Yeah. yeah, it's part of them now. But I think it is just called. Huh? Is it? I think so. After all that. I after think. all that. Talk about overcomplicating things, Ben. <sighs> I mean, really. <sighs> We need to wise up. We've got another show to do. Have we? <laughs> we have, yeah. Oh, we've still got the... one later on tonight. We've got... Is it five o'clock? Debbie, we're always live at one and five. Of course. Mm. Live at five. How could I forget? Perigami, says Christine Mahoney. Oh. I know. Origami. Oh, that's paper thing. I know what it is. So that's a bit of paper. Paper what they call it. We'll go with parchment. Paper what? We'll go with parchment. Parchment, yeah. yeah the white see. line effect. If yeah. you use white, after all that, white vellum. Should have just should stuck should, with what we said in the first place. Do you know what place. I should have just done? Yeah. I'd have been quicker showing you. I'd have been quicker showing you if I'd have just done it. I mean, seriously, Ben. We do try to overcomplicate things sometimes here. And I don't know why, she says. <sighs> Who is that? I don't know. <laughs> Uh, sorry if you just heard someone going, oh, that would be, uh, that would be Jake. I don't know what oh, he's done. Sounds Jake, like he's what's he his, doing? Sounds like he stubbed his toe uh, in the <laughs> library. Kendall says, I've got these folders. I've been waiting to see how they can be used. And Christine says, thank you so much to Debbie uh, and the whole team for the, all the beautiful shows they put on every weekday. It's a lot of work and it is so very much appreciated. Um, and Angela Reid says, just got back home. Must watch from the beginning later. But in the meantime... I will check out the folders. Now, when you say check out, do you mean you're going to check out as in look at them or check out as in 
buy them. <laughs> Maybe you're going to check them out, then check them out. Mm. Let us know, Angela. Robin says, cannot believe the show's nearly over. It's flown over. And I will recap everything that I've done in my uh, show today. But, yeah, yeah have, a, have a play, you know, literally, have a little play around um, with your embossing folders um, and just enjoy them as well. Like, we, they make beautiful backgrounds, but they can also be... Um, that focal part as well. Mm. So, yeah, just have a play around with them. I, I love embossing folders. Wish I cut these out in gold now, but it'll do. It'll do. We'll be fine. I should have really stuck a gold back there, but eh ho. Eh ho. I think this is my fave make of the show. Oh, yeah. you like the bright? This is very happy, isn't it? Very, yeah. It's very happy. Um, and as I say, it reminds me of um, Karma Comedian. <laughs> it reminds Susie of pina coladas, apparently, but there we go. <laughs> well, I do love, now, I'm not going to lie, I do love a pina colada, <laughs> and I could have been swayed by uh, that coat, but again, it just sits in the background. And think about the different ways that you can use it, and I'll recap all of those that I've done and made um, for you. I say for you, for me, really, because they're going to be going to people, I mean, especially me box. Uh, but you can have a little play around with them and create some different kind of looks. So that was that lovely uh, box, whether it be masculine, feminine, just looks beautiful. That lovely pina colada um, inspired one. Um, again, using the mirror card and chopping into it. And again, just look how lovely that looks. Still love that. Um, looks absolutely fabulous. And then, of course, what we should have been doing, which we didn't because we changed it up uh, but just a bit of ink just use your inks to create um, some dimension as well um, so lots of lovely things that you can be doing with them this is just the tip of the iceberg with an embossing folder there is so much you can do with them and I'm really looking forward to seeing what you guys create I keep my eye on the socials I haven't been on the ball this week I will admit with me um, being preoccupied uh, but I'm usually having a little look across there seeing what you guys get up to and I can't wait to see what you're going to do with these once these land on your doorstep yeah. um, because I love them and no doubt we'll be doing a craft along with them as well at some we are. point yeah yeah so. and also I know I've seen a few people saying that you'd already bought these off um, HSN so if you have already bought them and you've been inspired by Debbie today get them out get crafting and get tagging us in some pictures today because I think the more love that you can spread as well um, get to more of these out to other people who go oh, i want to get these as well i want to grab these because i want to you know have fun and get crafting with them so if you have already got them uh indeed you probably already crafted with them tag us in your make show us what you've done over on the Amma crafters companion page you can tab uh, tag both me and debbie in those uh, so we can share the love as well stunning says stephanie theodos beverly says absolutely beautiful debbie uh beautiful debbie says creative blessings and christine mahoney <laughs> i'm gonna do that voice again christine which isn't your voice but when i well Gorgeous, says Christine. <laughs> That's all it says there, gorgeous. Uh, now, as we said in this show, and in a few of the shows this week, we are giving away a mystery bag simply for you commenting. And we've had loads of comments in this show. Um, the contents of this bag... You, you will get you will get stuff to our winner, um, but I don't know what you're going to get. We don't know. It is a, a mystery. But well done, Janice Watson. Yay! Uh, Janice is the winner of the Lord's Day Show mystery bag. Janice, you need to message us with your details so we can get it out to you. CTV prizes at crafterscompanion.co.uk, um, and we'll be doing more of these as we head through the week. Um, quick look again, just to remind you of the showstopper, which is very, very busy. Over 30% of the stock now gone. Um, you're getting all of these brand new designs, £48, $76, five by seven. But as we've seen, you can snip into these, you can cut into these, all the different ways that um, Debbie's uses over the course of the show, doing like triptych effects. Uh, cutting these sort of on the diagonal and then piecing them back together, making cards, making uh, decorations for box lids as well. There are just so many ways to be able to use these. And again, think of all of the different mediums that you'll take to these, whether you go with your um, pigment ink pads, water-directive ink pads, whether you're going to go with your sprays on these, whether you're going to go with the, uh, the gold shimmer ink pads that you can get as part of your bonus buy, whether you're going to be adding gilding wax to these, however you want to do it, going into your darker cardstock, they're just going to look absolutely gorgeous because you've got that deeper, more bolder emboss because these are 3D. If you want those brand new folders on their own, you can. The showstopper is the way that most people are going because within the showstopper, yes, we're going to give you a pot of our gilding wax. Yes, you're going to get your floral elegance, uh, beautiful metallic um, 
cardstock which is in the mirror and also matte mirror yes you're also going to get your ice blue pack of our luxury cardstock and 60 sheets of that multi-purpose card as well should be an extra 51 pounds or 69 dollars you're paying actually just 15 pounds or 25 dollars and once you bag the showstopper, you open up the door to the bonus buy, which of course is all of those gold shimmer ink pads, which uh, Debbie has just been using. They're priced at 45 pounds or 70 bucks, but if you pop them into your basket with the showstopper and you're a platinum member, that 45 or 70 becomes 18 pounds or $28. There has never been a better time to snap these up. So make sure you do today. If you're getting the showstopper, this is just an absolute must. But like I've said, if you just want to go for individuals, you can. If you just want the collection on its own, again, you can. Debbie, thank you so much. Shall we come back and uh, do some Monday Makers later absolutely. on? Absolutely, absolutely. I'll see you at five. Uh, Monday Makers may see some more of uh, these, but I know what we will see. The Spring Fairy Collection is on. Also, I've uh, got the Hyde Ranger. We've got the Kaleidoscope Origami dies um, and loads more within that show as well don't forget to keep shopping the website ncm mix media is your code this week as part of national craft month to get 30 percent off selected items so go and have a look check out your baskets and we'll make you back here in two hours time until then bye